Hey, 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 gamers, and welcome in, welcome in, welcome in to another stream. Tonight's, uh, we're doing some Super Mario 64, a little something different, a little something different. Uh, something that I've been meaning to do on stream at some point, uh, for the last while. Um, because I played the PC port a couple years ago at this point for, like, a mod showcase thing on stream. And I actually wanted to do a new playthrough because, full disclosure, it's not really because I want to play this game as much as I want to play Sunshine when the summer rolls around. And I was like, why not make it the three 3D Marios? I'll play, I'll play 64 now on the edge of spring, and then, you know, fool around with mods for that and whatnot. And then I'll play, uh, I'll play Sunshine in the summer, and and mess around with modding that for a while. And then come winter, I'll play, uh, I'll play Galaxy. And that'll be, that'll be the lineup. Uh, unfortunately, the game is in 4x3. Which is, which is indeed unfortunate. I hope the game's not too loud. Is it too loud? I hope not. Um, but, uh, unfortunately it's in 4x3. I tried using the widescreen hack, it, it didn't work. Um, it, it simply did not take for some reason. So we're, we're playing in native 4x3, which isn't a huge, huge deal. Or anything. It's just, you know. Eh, it's an ideal. But it's still perfectly playable this way. So I think we should press start and get moving on playing some Super Mario 64. Just double checking that my controller is fine. There's a weird lag issue I'm having here. Dear Mario, he's coming. Either way, opening cutscene. This is gonna be another one like Portal. Uh, where this is another game that I know like the back of my hand, and so probably won't even take me two streams to complete. I could probably knock it all out tonight if I really felt like it. Um, but, you know, in the interest of making content, I want to kind of try and take my time with it. Hey, Ender, welcome in. I want to kind of try and take my time with it, but again, like when I played Portal on stream, it's a short enough game that while playing it, I'm going to be consistently blabbing about little bits and pieces of the game that I love. You know, and things of that nature. But we're uh we're doing we're doing some we're doing some 64. Let's get moving. Uh ta -ta. no need to read any of the text, because I am better than that. Again, this is another game that like it it's just ingrained in me this one. Like I can I can 
get around just fine. Let's see if I can pull off a Lakitu skip. I don't think I can now that I've moved from the start. I usually can't, even in the advent of, nah, I'm misaligned. No, nope, we're going in the water. <laughs> Alright. But no, yeah, this is probably going to be another one where the game isn't all that long. I, I looked up to how long to beat on this game just out of my own curiosity, because usually how long to beat is just about accurate. But... Soup of Mario 69, yeah. Uh, usually the how long to beat is fairly accurate for, for games on stream, but... The how long to beat for this game says like 17 hours and it's oh that was that was a mistake i'm i'm really not showing off my prowess i never said i was good you know uh but like the estimate on how long to beat for this game was like 30 like 17 hours i think was was the like for only like a 70 star run 17 hours which i guess blind going in the first time maybe Dang it, I missed it again. I really want to pull off this Lakitu skip, so I'm gonna keep trying. I'm gonna- I'm gonna try at it once more. One more. Fourth time's the charm. That's what they say, right? Right? Humor me a little bit here? Mayhaps? But, um... Wait. But no, yeah, it's like seven- it's like 17 hours, and it's like- I guess if you were to go into this blind, then... <gasps> Oh, I was so close! That was so absurdly close! Hi, Twig. How you doing? But no, yeah, this is one of my favorite games in the whole world, dude. Like, I cannot be... How long to believe- how long to beat gave a legit first-time playthrough time for once? Eh, it's usually pretty off in either direction. Um... Pretty good, how about you? I'm doing real solid. I don't know how much of this game we're gonna get through tonight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just like, you know, I'm gonna sort of like, just yeah, do a little casual, a little casual Mario 64. Uh, it's also, full disclosure, I'm also playing this because I also wanna get around to B3313 on stream. And uh, like most of the text boxes in this game are just like, explaining controls, which I need no crash courses on. I wonder... Ah, darn it, I was hoping I could do the thing where we skate across his head. So, first star up on the docket is Big bob -omb on the summit. And I'm thinking about Chain Chomp here, I'm thinking about doing this because that's usually what I go for first these days. Well, if I could, if I may be allowed to navigate. But, again, for the sake of this stream, I want to take it easy. You know, just sort of go in star order. Make a game of it. What's uh, B3313? It's, it, is a, it is a mod of Mario 64. It is a ROM hack for Mario 64 that uh, is practically... Like, you know those... You know those uh, oh, why can I not long jump? Why is the like long jump timing off? Like, why am I off? Because I know it's me and not the game, but, like, still. Uh, it is, it's a mod that, like, you know those, like, liminal space maps? It's, it's the equivalent of those, except for, for this game. And, uh, apparently the new version of it has a new ending and whatnot, and I never played the first version of it. So, oh, low poly Mario. Look at him go. And... Back to high poly Mario. <laughs> Weird ROM hack, got it. Yeah, it's just a very odd ROM hack. I'm not exactly sure how to describe it. it it's a very weird one. Come on, have at me. Woo! But no, this King Bob-omb fight, I always think about, uh, like I, I always have like th a fond, uh, fond feelings about King bob -omb as a character. Because, like, he's used so rarely. He was he was in the Mario movie, funnily enough. And, like, he, he actually got, like, like a bit role in the Mario movie. I say bit role, like, he's an actor and not a character. But, like, he, he was, he was like, a bit character. And I, I appreciated that, you know, that they acknowledged him. Because they usually only acknowledge him in, like, I think they acknowledged him in Paper Jam recently? And that was... And, and he's in, the, he's, in uh, he's in Mario Party. But that's, like, it. Alright, first star gotten. 
check this out, check this out. If I if I time it just right. Bam! Didn't have to do the falling to the ground. But no, yeah, uh, Mario 64, hell of a game. A uh, game I really like. I really like Sunshine as well. Uh, but no, yeah, I planned for this kind of to be like the start of something. That was a message telling us that we could go to more levels now. I don't want to go to more levels now. I want to do everything that I can here. And then we'll move on. Holy shit, it's Koopa the Quip. Koopa the Quip. Koopa the Quick. He's here. Go! So he is going to ask us to race him up the mountain. Which will be easy because I know a shark cut. In fact, it would have been easier to do the thing I did the first time and teleport. Because, for whatever reason, fun fact about Koopa the Quick... Uh, he registers the, like, use of cannons. Like, if you use, like, the cannons to shoot yourself further in the course, that counts as cheating to him. He doesn't really have a way to detect the teleports, though, for some weird reason. So if I do this, which, in a foot race, I would very much consider cheating. But, uh, oh, well, if I could get my long jumps correctly. But for some reason, he just doesn't seem to care. Whee! Boink. Take a little bit of damage. Why not? Man, the myth, the legend, Quick Koopa himself. Come on up the mountain, pal. Come on up. Oh, low poly Mario again. This is one of the good spots to get a good look at low poly Mario. He only appears when Mario is in motion. And only at like a certain distance from the camera, which I find very interesting. All right, we win. That is probably like even even without the use of like teleports or anything. That is probably the quickest or like the slowest, uh, easiest to beat foot race in video games. I I, I would I, I would argue that. Next star, what's up next? Uh, shoot to the island in the sky. All right, we can do that. We can manage that. That one's easier with the wing cap, but it's it's certainly not required. Can we do the thing this time? No. We can kill him, but uh. Oh wait, I need to get to the bomb because I need to talk to the pink bomb guy so that he'll open the cannon for us. Bonked. Also high shade. Nice job lurking. Like the liter like the opposite of the literally impossible one for our from Ocarina, yeah. Peace loving bob -oms. Don't like war. I'll open the cannon for you though. Wicked. <laughs> so now we have cannons. Uh which we can use to fire ourselves across the course. These have to be unlocked individually by course, which I find to be a fun, interesting thing. That is our goal, is up there, and we cannot make it from here. I'm not sure it's possible. It might just barely be, but I highly doubt it. Oh. Oh, well, those were some sick moves. All the bonkage. Top quality bonkage. Okay. And we'll grab the tree. I love using the tree in this instance. That tree is a lifesaver, genuinely. Because it saves me so much time. Uh, and so much, like, effort of, like, aiming the thing. Just land anywhere on the tree and you're good to go. I just realized. I redeemed Clown Rat. Did you? Did I miss it? When did I miss Clown Rat? Oh, right at the beginning. Jeez. Okay, well, 20 minutes of Clown Rat for you. 20 minutes of Clown Rat. There we go. Save and continue. Completely missed it. Again, I, I keep meaning for that to make a sound alert. That's on my little to-do list. It's just not something I've gotten to just yet. All right, we're clowning. All right, an eight red coin mission. The fun thing about eight red coin missions, right? And and boy, do I have an opinion about all of these missions, genuinely. Like you might be wondering, like, is he is he playing up? Is, is there is there some kind of gag here? No, I am genuinely just very passionate about Mario 64. Uh, the fun thing about red coin missions in this game 
uh, is that, uh, me personally, I like to do the 100 coin mission as well, because there are 100 coin secret stars, because this game starts the tradition of the 3D Mario find the 8 red coins mission, but it also starts the tradition that's even more followed than that of having 100 coin stars, I almost said shines, 100 coin missions that are all based upon getting as many coins as possible, particularly 100, and just, like, making the best of it, you know? And I find those missions easier to do at the same time as the red coin missions, because in this game, unlike other games... Hey, SparkleFlare95, thanks for the follow. So if you hack Ocarina of Time to get a time of 0, zero in that race, he claims you beat him with a time of 0-0. Zero, zero. Because apparently it's right before the zero, the text re- Because the- the apostrophe is right before the zero of the text registry or something? That's interesting. I always find that kind of stuff very interesting. Fun little facts. But no, I find the 100 coin missions- what I was saying was, I find the 100 coin missions very easy to knock out at the same time as the 8 reds. And it's usually the last thing I'll go for? Just because 100 coin mission means I'm gonna be spending a lot of time in the level. On that particular mission. Okay, I already got that ba bomb. I thought I missed one though. I could swear I did, but I guess not. Um Ah, Goomba though. Give me your coin, pal. Uh but no, a hundred coins a hundred coin missions mean that you're going to be spending quite a while wandering around the level and grabbing every coin in sight. Like it is it is going to be a bit. But Again, it's weird how inconsistent red coins are throughout the Mario franchise of just like, yeah, some games there are eight of them, some games there are four, some five for some reason. Some games they count on the coin total as an amount, and when they count on the coin total as an amount, they can count in some games as two coins, as some games, in some games they count for five coins, you know, and in some games they don't count at all, which I find odd. Die. Ah, one of my favorite elements of this game, the Koopa Shell. Koopa Shell surfing is genuinely so much fun. Give me that coin. Bam. Bam. And our first occurrence of the powerful Mario theme. I found out later than I would like to admit that this is actually a Yoshi's Island track and not a, not a, a Mario 64 track originally. Like, I remember playing Yoshi's Island for the first time after I'd played Mario 64 for the first time, of course. Um, and finding out just that, uh, wow, man, it's it's insane. Because I was like, this, there's no way. There's no way. What? Why is this track here? This is too early for this. And then I, I realized immediately, like, oh, no, this is this is for Yoshi's Island is why this, like, theme exists. And now it's in Mario 64. It's a good reuse, though. I think it works better in this particular sound font. Like, I think this is certainly the more iconic version of the track, most likely because more people are familiar with it. Okay, now we gotta run around these poles a few times. I, I always I always used to get confused as a kid and ruin this section, like, ruin this 100 coin mission, because I'm not sure you can do... I'm pretty sure you can, but I would get, like, close to ruining this 100 coin mission for myself. Because I would, I would go, oh, right, I need to stomp the poles, right? Because you can, you can stomp these, like, wooden, like, log posts, too. But, uh, jeez, if I can, if I can run around this one effectively. There we go. Now we're cooking. Hello? Do you not want to give up your coinage, sir? Is it, maybe it's clockwise, specifically. No, that one just doesn't have a coin to give me, I guess. Or maybe I already got them and I just wasn't paying attention. That's probably it. It's probably blocked by the tree. But hey, we're already 50 coins into this 100 coin. Uh, but particularly with uh, with this mission, I used to go like, Oh, I need to I need to stomp the, stomp the poles. Right, right, right. Oh, I already did this one. Um, and so I would stomp them. And after you stomp them, it takes away the ability to do the... Do the, like, thing. Do the, like, running around thing. And so those, like, hidden coins are just, like, inaccessible after that. Whoa! Gosh, give me that. Give it, give it, give it. Come on, don't let the coin despawn. Yeah, we caught it. We caught it in the end. 
There's a fun little thing that not many people know you can do in this game, and if I can find one, I'll show you. There's these little dialogue signs all around that, like, I'm sure anybody, like, this. these tips that I'm giving are not for people who have played the game. These are mostly tips for people who, like, only played it, like, casually. But, like, I'm sure a lot of people already know this, but you can... What? Okay, maybe this one doesn't count. Maybe I fucked it. Hold on. Oh, no, that's a ROM hacking thing. Never mind. I could just, I could have sworn ground pounding signs was a thing that you could do in the base game. I must be mistaken, though. Ah, oh, how unfortunate. Come here. Let me grab you. Let me grab you. I already got your coin. Just killed that man for no reason. Absolutely assassinated. Whoa, narrow dodge there. But no, yeah, the fun thing about these 100 coin missions is you can practically take as much damage as you like because uh, coins heal you as well. So it's, it's, that's another weird 3D Mario inconsistencies. Like sometimes coins are health, sometimes they're not. Sometimes they're only in aid of a one-up, sometimes a star. Speaking of, speaking of one-ups, now we can open this and have an exit back to the main portion of the level that's a little shortcutty, back and forth. We can come straight here from the start of the level now. Apparently, this big gash in the middle of the level over there that we were just standing in was originally designed to be... Hello, let's Green Demon for a minute. Will this one Green Demon? I don't think he will. No, he'll just start running. It's weird that there are two versions of the one-up in this game, the one that chases and the one that doesn't. I find that very odd. Can I stomp these signs, maybe? Well, I can if I line myself up with the Oh, I mean, like, in the sign. Weird. I'll take that as a resounding no, then. Ah, come on. Ah, come on. This game is, like, a mess, by the way. Like, I, I like the controls. A lot of people complain. I've heard lots of complaints from lots of different people about, oh, well, the controls in Mario 64 kind of suck, and the camera are bad. The camera's bad. The camera being bad is something that I can abide. Like, that's something that I can't... Ah, oh, I missed it. That's something that I can definitely... I can definitely sympathize with as an issue that people have with the game, because the camera is kind of rough sometimes with positioning. <gasps> can I save it? Can I save it? Can I still get the coin? Can I still get the coin? I can. I used to never fuck this up. How am I... How are these mistakes that I'm making? It's it's been a minute is why because like I used to never make these sorts of mistakes. Ouch! I've been bonked. Um, let's go ahead and bam. Nothing. Nada. It's weird how those blocks work. Hmm? We might be able to get the get the hundred coin. Uh, I, again, I'm staying shine almost. I'm, I'm I got Mario Sunshine brain rot lately. Give me the bomb. Okay. Um. But no, it, it, um, I think there might be a thing further down the mountain, perhaps. Double check. No, no, it goes straight into the, into the other area. Yahoo. Not what I wanted to do there. But no, yeah, it's, it's been like a weirdly long time for me since I last touched this game. But hey, we get to see the part of the mountain I've been avoiding for like two, three missions now. Oh, that's funny. This bob like guards this cannon. That's what he does. He operates this cannon. He can't be disturbed unless you, like, physically, like, pick him up. That is the only way to collect his coin, is to just break him purposefully. Because he won't, he's not aggro to you. He, he won't, he won't, like, attack, weirdly enough. There's another set of coins over here. How many red coins are we? One, two, three, four, five, six. We need, like, two more. Okay. So we've collected most of the red coins. And, oh, look, a heart. I like the noises those make. Why must this happen to me? Why did I get healed? I guess the heart effect was still on for a second there. And there's nobody up here. Okay. Um. So let's... Let's go down the front of the mountain here. Ah, oh, man, I meant to eat that damage. Completely failed. I love how the bombs look in this game. They're just little guys. They're such little guys. I really like the bomb designs in this game. Okay, tree saved me. Not quite. Saved myself, though. Alright, and now we have to go up here and do part of this, like, five coin gathering mission as well. 
You're supposed to have the wing cap by the time you do this. But you can kind of cheese it? You can kind of almost do it. Like, all but the last coin are accessible that way. Okay, now we need to take this and carry it down. And bam. Nope. Yeah, actually. Okay. 95 coins. No, I've... Oh, right. The Chain Chomp coin. I didn't get the Chain Chomp coin. How silly of me. How ridiculous. And hey, there's the 8 red coin star. But... You might be wondering, for those unfamiliar with the game, just how am I going to get the 100 coin star... I, again, 100 coin shine is stuck in my head. Uh, but... How am I going to get the 100 coin star and get the, uh, and get the 8 reds star? Because, like, don't stars, like, boot you out of the level? Not exactly. Okay, I should have done better than this. Because it's looking like I'm going to have to spawn the... <laughs> I'm going to have to spawn the star in the air up there with the, with the secret coins up top, but I might be able to maybe get this to finally drop me a couple coins. Come on. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Okay, I'm saved. Saved. But, weirdly enough, fun fact, 100 coin stars do not boot you from the level. They just ask if you want to save. And now we collect the 8 red star, and that's a 2 for 1. Which I am very happy with. The execution on that one. Whew. Okay, back to it. We're nearly done with what we can achieve in Bubum Battlefield. Uh, Mario Wings to the Sky is not the mission we will be doing just now. Because there's only a couple more missions left. There's Mario Wings to the Sky, which requires the wing cap, obviously. Uh, but then there's also... Free the Chain Chomp. Which is the mission I want to do right now. Oh, I missed. Yeah. Okay. Oh, come on. But if you're in the if you're in the like ground pound state, he can't really get to you. Which is interesting and cool and fun. Okay. Let me go over here and kill a couple Goombas. Get some- get a couple more coins. We just spent the last, like, ten minutes collecting coins in this level. I should be able to... Come on. Come on. Thank you. Woo. Woo. Mario does special little hurt noises. Do it, Mario. And he's got a little animation for it, too. But no, yeah, a lot of the enemy designs in this game are either, like, little guy or freak. And there's no in-between. And I, I love it for that. Honestly, it's 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 iconic for doing that. Especially if you look at like the the like 3D renders made for the game. Come at me. Thank you. Oh well I'll just I'll just walk into you, sir. Thanks. Oh, come on. First death is on the chain chomp. Are you serious? I think it's because I've thrown off my mojo a little bit. I've thrown off my mojo a little bit with the, um, with the, with not doing it first, because I'm so used to doing this first that it just completely, like, I just completely bewildered myself by taking him out last. If you blow up the Chain Chomp, though, he does a cool, fun thing. Let me see if I can, let me see if I can get this Babam to behave. We're not doing Babam clip. Ah, oh, I didn't get him close enough. I don't think I could have gotten him close enough. Get out of my face. Oop. That's okay. It's alright. Let's just focus on getting him out. Out. He's free! To roam the bob -on battlefield. Boink. They actually did some cool expansion upon him in 64DS. I want to play 64DS on stream. At some point, too. The issue with 64DS is not necessarily DS emulation as much as the issue is dual screens being an issue. I might have to make like a custom layout for DS titles and then I'll have to stream more than just 64DS. I was thinking, I didn't get it yet, but I'm thinking of getting a CRT done for the 
We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got six of the seven possible stars there. All we're missing is Wing Mario over the rainbow. Or not Wing Mario over the rainbow. That's a completely different star. Um, but now we have access to more areas, such as... Eh, we'll go do... We'll go, we'll go left to right. We'll go left to right with these, these floor areas. We will go to Cool Cool Mountain. With the little snowmen. They have a name. I think it's like... It, it's it's a very weird name. It's like Freezies or something. No, Freezies are like the, the other guys. Slip sliding away. I love this mission. I love this mission so much. That's such a fun thing that this game does. Love them or hate them. Love them or hate them. What, are there penguins here? I love penguins. There are penguins here. We'll be seeing a lot more of the penguins next mission. All right, I can't really show it off because we've got to come back to this track to do like a race against a big penguin. But that race counts this secret as cheating. So I want to do the secret now <laughs> just to show off a little bit. Ah, oh, look at him go. And we get put up here instead of down there where I think there's just coins. Oh no, there's a one up. Cool. Ow. And then as we exit down here, we'll come out to the lower level and receive our star. Look at the penguin. Look at the big the big mother penguin and her baby penguins. Oh, she's going to talk to us about how how she misses her child. We will get her child for her in a moment. Here we go. I got power stars to collect, lady. <laughs> Heck yeah, new high score for the level. All right, right back in to Little Penguin Lost. So, the objective for this one is to take this penguin. Oh, we spent last mission exploring the interior of the mountain via like this weird like cabin structure that runs throughout it. But now our objective is to take this little baby penguin from the top of the mountain and explore the exterior of the mountain by way of taking this baby penguin down to its mother. Whoop. Oh, we fell. We're safe, we're good. Little Polly Mario holding the penguin. <laughs> and he cries all the way down, believe me. Every second of the way. Okay. I usually mess up the timings on these guys, and I still might. Okay, no, we did it, we did it. But then we just take him right down here. Whee! Bam, we're here. Take your child, lady. Give me the, give me the baby so I can show it to her. There we go. He's so loud, he's so loud, right? He's so obnoxious. And she'll thank us for bringing the baby back and star get. Now, she can't take the star back from us. But she will get angry if we take the baby penguin. But she'll only be angry for like a second. But if I steal him... I'll do it. I'll do it, chat. Don't make me do it. The intrusive thoughts are winning. I'll do it. I'm gonna press the button. Goodbye. But it's okay, it's okay. He's safe down there. There's a death barrier at the bottom of the level, but uh, he isn't affected by it, so he'll just hang out down there. He just lives down there now. He's just a baby. <laughs> now he's a baby under the level. <laughs> he can hang out under the level. <laughs> he's fine, he's safe. Save and continue. All right, now we have eight power stars, which means we could go fight Bowser right now. We could fight the first of three Bowser fights right now. However, no. <laughs> I don't wanna. Big penguin race. 
So, this mission. The fun thing about this mission is that now we're back here, and if I can turn the camera, we must race the big penguin. Now, this is distinctly, you can tell in the dialogue, a very different penguin to the penguin we were just uh, returning its baby to. At least that's, I think, the implication. But, again, we can't fall off the track. We have to stay on the track if we fall to a lower portion of the track. That is considered cheating by this big penguin. And we will be booted without a power star. Which is nicer than Mario Sunshine. Mario Sunshine genuinely just... Well, okay. I've always had trouble with this particular race. But, uh, because the slide is a little, uh, a little slidier than the, the, the one inside the castle. Um... But... You know, it's nicer, it's nicer than Sunshine, is what I was saying. Because Sunshine will straight up kill you. Sunshine will murder you to death about it. If you, if you fail, it costs you a life on those, uh, racing missions. So this game is a, is a little, a little less cruel. On the whole. Which is good, because it's the first 3D Mario, and, you know, that's, at first impressions are very important, you see. Oh, oh, come on. This is where all my lives are gonna go, by the way. This is gonna take me a few attempts. The evil Mario. Evil Mario. Let me take a sip of my water. Ba 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 ba. There we go. Let's get a race on. Come on. I was gonna play the 3D All Stars version of this game so that, uh, so that I could get some of the enhancements from that. Uh, or so that like, a so I could get the enhancements and b so that it could be more consistent when I uh, do Sunshine and uh, Galaxy at some point. But the thing about Sunshine and Galaxy, or the thing about Sunshine and Galaxy is that, uh, or the thing about 3D All-Stars is that it's an emulated version of all the games on the Switch, and uh, I guess I could boot my Switch for it. I, I would have to, like, I haven't, I haven't touched my Switch in months. But I, I guess I could for those two games, and, and like, just call it a mulligan on this one. Uh, but the issue would be that I was emulating an emulator, and that's an issue. Karma for throwing the baby penguin. I completed this faster than I thought I would, to be fair. Talk to me. Talk to me. Speak to me! Thank you. Now give me your star. Weirdly enough, they only give you the other star outside, but they give you this one inside. Karma for throwing the baby. Of course. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm owed. I am owed that little bit of karma. Save and continue, and we'll, we're will we about to get our tenth one. I can't wait. Ah, frosty slide for eight red coins. Now, this one is going to be a heart wrencher, you see. Because we need the eight reds, yes. But again, I like to do my hundred coin stars when I do my eight red coin stars. So we're gonna come in here from the top rope so that we collect those last couple coins. And 100 coins requires that you do this. Don't go. And then I can just go alone without any further interference. Usually you need that blue coin. I'm doing a very poor job of this, so hopefully it won't, uh, won't affect me too bad. We'll take the secret shortcut for now. Because we need to go back and get that blue coin anyway. Whoa, 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 Mario. Cool it. Alright, there we are. And now we'll get this one up over here, just so we have it. I think I ended with more lives than I started with. Uh, we could, in theory do that all the way up the slide, and nope, there we go. Mamma mia. That was a bad idea. That was just straight up a bad idea, but we're gonna call it a mulligan. We're gonna get that 100 coin star. I'm not gonna get all the 100 coin stars. If one gives me a particular amount of trouble, I won't get it. Just like I'm not gonna get all the stars. I'm just going to, I plan to beat the game 
But I want to see as much of the game as I can. You know, on stream. Just to, just to pat it out. Because if my objective was just get 70 stars, beat the game, I would certainly be done tonight. Like, that that would be it. But, I kind of, I, I want to be able to, I want to be able to, you know, fully immerse myself. Why did I bring the penguin along this time? I guess, force of habit. We're getting a lot more of these coins this time, though. Now, some of these coins are designed to get you fucking murked. And I will not be collecting them. That was sick tricks. I think that might honestly count as, as, uh, getting killed. Or, I think that might honestly count as, uh, as cheating to the penguin. Pretty sure it does. Dang it! But no, yeah, in, in situations like this, where I'm required to do something particularly difficult for the hundred coin, I probably just won't. But... I want to. I want to. I want to at least attempt every mission. I want to. I want to give every mission a good, honest try. And I'm sure saying that and establishing that now is going to come back to bite me. Down we go. Oh yeah, I didn't even mention it yet. The slider theme is here, which is nice. one of this game's actual original musical pieces and it it gets its mileage out of it believe me like this game ensures that it gets enough mileage out of each piece of music because the Nintendo 64 was uh, not a great system storage wise because most other consoles like the PS1 had moved over and and the like and the Sega Sega Dreamcast and whatnot had all moved over to CDs. But see, look, that's 73 coins on its own that we just got there. Like, that's most of the 100 coin out of the way. So if you can pull that off, you can, like, get the eight reds and then, like, a couple more various coins, and then you're good to go. But, uh, the point I was making was that, um, it's a real, it's a real storage issue. This area over here is so blank. There's a red coin here, though, so they do intend you to be here at some point, you know? Um, and so they couldn't store a whole heck of a lot of music. That's also why all the instruments are, are like, still, like, kind of wonk-ass, like, very crunchy MIDI instruments. I thought about laying the, like, texture, like, updating the textures to have no filtering and, like, uh... Putting, uh, putting the game in widescreen didn't work out. That was, like, the only thing I was actually going to commit to doing. Um, but, like, I thought about adding a bunch of enhancements. Oh, that was that was actually kind of close. I didn't appreciate that. Um, but, uh, I decided not to do the whole, like, several billion enhancements thing for the sake of, uh, okay, we'll have to come back down. Uh, but for the sake of just, like, not, uh, not, like, because, like, I played the PC port a while ago. I mentioned that. I played the PC port on stream, like, two years ago. So if you want to see, like, a version of this game, like, all dolled up and nice, you know, I, I think, I think that is where you should go. Whereas, like, this version, I'm just, I'm, I'm playing a full warts and all playthrough of this game, you know? I'm, I'm giving it everything I've got. I got the 100 coin star, and I only got... Five of the red coins. Four at the time. No! Don't do this to me! You cannot do this to me! No! I can save this. I can save this, chat. Chat, I can save him. It may not look it, but we are indeed making upward progress. We're not anymore, though. Come on. No! Okay, now the stage is starting to... Give me a couple of various issues, but we did get our 10th star. Now we just have to get the eight reds. I just have to not make the world's stupidest mistake again, you know? Okay, that's one. And then if we take the slide down over here, bonk. Why did they design it that way? Uh, if we take this slide down here, I think there's a red coin at the very bottom of it. So we'll. Ooh. Saved it. See, look at me. I'm cool. I know the tricks. Call me, call me fucking new simple flips. 
Call me Neo Simple Flips. Do it. I dare you. No one will ever call me that. Um. That was cool. I got launched. Momentum, baby. All right. Yet another one. Okay, and then we go and we get the rest from down here. So there's one right there, and we can get it when we need to go back up. Um, which I don't believe we do for the rest of these red coins, necessarily. So that's four. And then there's five over there, but I... Let's go ahead and get this one. I, I'll forget it's here, and I'll think I already got it, and it'll, it'll trip me up, so I might as well just... Coin collected. But no, yeah, my hubris uh, will forever mark me for attempting that little maneuver back there. I think there might maybe be a red up here. No, it's just a pink bump. What I was thinking of, uh, though, is in 64DS, there's a thing where you can... Uh, talk to certain red bombs and on like the touch screen of the DS they'll give you the locations of the red coins like on the minimap for a sec Just so you can like know vaguely where to look what Was that seven one two three four five six no that's six, okay? Uh, so we need seven and eight seven and eight. I forget Roundabouts where seven and eight are We could still try to find them Oh no, there's one over here, right. That's like the eighth red coin though, is the thing about it. Okay. Like that's the one you're supposed to get last, because that's where the star spawns. But, okay, well I guess we're not getting it. Um. Who? Okay. So now let's get over here and re-climb the mountain via teleport. Such a fun noise. What a fun little teleport noise. Okay, so we gotta not fall into the slide. If we fall into the slide, we're probably doomed once more. Maybe down here with the snowman's body? Or where the snowman's body will be. Uh, not quite. I didn't even need the blue coins, by the way, in this stage. There weren't, there wasn't a blue coin switch in Babam Battlefield. But, actually, maybe the coin is over by the blue coin switch. I can check. Suppose I could check. Let's see if we can't wall, or not wall kick, but see if we can't, like, speed kick back up there. Well, that, not like that, clearly. Oh, careful. Maybe this is more dangerous than it's worth. You gotta keep kicking is the issue. That time I had no chance to kick. Okay, let's just go down and come back up. We're getting nowhere here. There's no one hiding over here behind this ledge, is there? There is not. Maybe I miscounted. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, no. There's, there's two missing. I'll go ahead and grab this one so that it counts, because I know where it is, you know? Hmm. Seven. And now we need to... Yahoo! And that'll put us up by the blue coin switch. Maybe there is a coin here, after all. That there isn't. Hmm. How unfortunate. Come on. D down, Mario. Mario, down. Down. <laughs> uh, actually, we need to not cross this gap. We need to boop. And then boop. Did I get the one at the other end down here? I'm pretty sure I got it. I would like to double check behind myself, though, because I have died once, so it is, it is worth double-checking. I remember there being another one up a tree down here. I think I got it, though. Hmm. Let's go up again. Surely it's not over there. 
Because over there is very difficult to get to. Double checking there's no red with him. Third fact is not. This level's very interesting for just the amount of ways it gives you to come up and down the mountain. Because you've got that little, like, lift there. And then you've got things like... Oh, maybe it's over here. Oh, there's a, there's a coin box over here, that's all. Uh, but you, then you've got things like the slide to get down and the teleport back up and the slide on the interior of the map. There's two whole ways to butt slide down the mountain. I think that should be noted. I would also like to stream Odyssey at some point. Odyssey is one of those games, though, that, like, I feel like I've always, like, I feel like I'm always on the rust, on the cusp of, like, having just played it. I think it, it just doesn't have the same replayability to me that other 3D Marios do, you know? But maybe that's because I spent so much time with it at launch that, like, I, I got my fill, mayhaps, perchance, even. Okay, so let's head back up and see what we can do to- Ah, oh, I remember. I think. I like bragging about knowing this game like the back of my hand. No, it's not up here. I thought it was there, but I guess not. Uh, I like bragging at the beginning of this stream about, oh, I know this game like the back of my hand, so this will be a real quick stream. You know? And then, like, one whole level in, I'm already, like, lost on just, like, where the hell is this red coin? You know? Like, I got seven of eight, so I'm, I'm missing one somewhere. I must have just overlooked it. Boing! I like that, that voice line. Mario is, like, Mario is also deeply rooted in the silly little guy category in this game. I feel. Like, I feel like he definitely fits the bill for, oh, he's just a silly little guy, you know? It's not up here. I've thoroughly checked. I have checked more than I would like to admit. Maybe it is against this wall somewhere? We're sliding awful slow, thank goodness. True. He's just so silly. No! No! Oh, I thought I was dead for sure, and I still might be. Okay, no, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're saved. I thought I just lost all seven of those coins. Which is not a big deal, I can go and get them again. But then that's just gonna prolong my search for this eighth one. Mm, it's not on the slide, I know there's not one on the slide. Maybe up top of this, uh, up top of this cabin? Ow. But Mario is such a silly guy in this one. Ouch. Come on. Let me up. Let me up. Because there was that post a while ago that, where people were talking about how Mario is akin to, like, a, he has, like, the innocence of, like, a wild deer or some shit in this game. And I, I think that's funny. I think it's very funny. Oh, I can't get that close. I can get all this close. And he does. He kind of is just, like, there's, like, childlike wonder in those eyes, and I can appreciate it. Come on, let me out of the snow. Let me out of the snow. All right, let's go up this uh, wooden platform here. Why was the hundred coin? Uh, why was the hundred coin mission less time than this? Like, why is this taking me longer than one hundred coins did? Ouch! 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 Okay. Where could I possibly be missing an eighth red coin? Three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, I counted accurately. Okay. I, I genuinely, like, revenge. The baby's revenge is, like, hiding this red coin from me. I knew I shouldn't have done it. I knew I shouldn't have done it. The voice has got to me, guys. I'm sorry. I couldn't do much about it. It was beyond me. Oh, come on, let me, let me climb up. I simply wish to climb. There we go. I'm climbing. I'm climbing about it. I know there's like one that only Yoshi can collect in the, the DS version in this area. Because uh, you have to use Yoshi's like fire breath ability in that game to get it. 
And uh, yeah, I think I think I'm out of luck on this one. Am we gonna have to? I'm not pulling a wiki for this game. Not after I. Not after I. Okay, I'm not risking my life or my coins for that. That one up that simply does not want to exist in my inventory. Um. I guess it couldn't hurt to look under the wall kicks will work area. Suppose it couldn't hurt. How much ground do I have down there? Can I feasibly right now do that? I, I genuinely, I don't think it's on the wall kicks will work area. But that's the only place I haven't searched top to bottom, really. And so it's looking like I will have to resort to... Boing! I probably could have rode that down to it. The little spindrift guy. Is there one closer? If there's one closer, then there isn't. Darn. Okay. But no, I'm very settled in. I'm very settled in. It feels good to play Mario 64, a game that I love so dearly on stream. It genuinely, like, it, it, it warms my heart to be playing this. Oh, dialogue started, dialogue ended. Yeah! Jumps! Sick jumps! Okay. Where is this A thread? I'm doing like different camera angles that I usually don't do in familiar areas in an effort to like hopefully turn up something related to this 8 thread coin. Okay. See, this mission is the only one I might have trouble with because the DS version is the one I was more like attuned to as a kid. And so, whoa, let's not fall all the way down again. Not just yet, not just yet. Okay. Tree, save me. Okay. So not here. Ouch. Okay, we got the one that was right there. Alright, fine, I'll crack. I'll crack and look it up. I'll crack. I don't wanna, but I will. Hold on. Oh, I'm still clown rat. Get out of here. This is going to eat away at me forever that I lost this red coin in my brain. Frosty slide for eight red coins, which is funny because they're not at all in the slide. It is the Yoshi area. I didn't think the Yoshi area existed in this game. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. I've made a grave error, and I must correct it now. Off we go, off we go, off we go to correct my mistakes, because it's right up there. It's on that there platform that I can't get to. It's on yonder platform, if you'll allow me the, the indulgence to say that. Uh... Down we go. Bam. And now, away. Right back up the mountain. Just stand right on the end of this broken bridge. It connects to this bridge, up the top. And then, and then, and then, and then. What direction? I think it's actually over here. I think I had the right area. Let me not let myself build too much momentum. And... Collected. Let's go. Let's freaking go, lads. Okay, so then we just jump down here. And we... 
do a little long jump. Dude, I was I was writing that area off entirely because I, I misremembered and I was like, oh, it's that it's only that only exists in the the DS port. No, no, it's there. Okay, save and continue. Now we do another mission. <laughs> now we move on. This is probably one of my big problem stages, even even like as a kid. Because I also had a lot of trouble with uh, Snowman's Lost His Head, which is the mission we're on now. Uh, wherein the snowman head that we kept passing at the bottom is missing a body. And so we're gonna wanna get this head, get this body over to the snowman's head. And then we'll skip this bit. Come on, pull out of the snow, pull out of the snow. And then we'll come over here, and we'll hope it doesn't roll away. Yeah! Yeah! Bye, snowman. Glad I could help. See you later. There wasn't anything I could do about that. I was locked in. I was so focused on lining the, the snowball up, and, like, the camera killed me there. So I was so focused on lining the snowball up and being able to see it line up that I, I just completely whiffed it. Okay, all right, let's let's get let's get back to it. Let's get back to it. Please and thank you. Whee! Apparently the snowman head and snowman body are from different snowmen. Evidenced by uh Evidenced by like the dialogue that they give where the snowman's like, man, I need a body. You know where I can find a body? Mine's like gone. And then the one at the top of the mountain is like, I need a head. Can you find me a head? And now we have to die anyway. There's no way to do that mission over again. I'm always so confused about what makes the snowman's head roll or the snowman's body roll off the mountain instead of into into the uh into the awaiting neck, I guess, of the other snowman part. You know? Like that's what I'm curious about. But no, there's a joke in the dialogue for this uh this snowman body that like his head was stolen by headhunters. And I think that's pretty funny. And that's a funny bit. If I stand over here. I feel like this red. Oh. Maybe not. Perhaps not. Okay, maybe I need to line. Maybe I do need to do the entire mountain with it. That's what always tripped me is just like, do I need to do the whole mountain or not? But no, this this level is just like a problem stage for me. So doing it second probably wasn't the best idea, but we're locked in now. We're doing it. We're managing it. So we can totally handle it. It's just a matter of, you know, getting there. Because there are stages I will have more trouble with later. And so it's better to, better to like, struggle with this one a little bit than have to sort of make do the other way around. Coming down after me. He's coming right for us. Yes, yes, he had more curve that time, right? No. I think I have to talk to the snowman first, is my problem. I know I'm coming up with crackpot theories now. Like I've hit I've hit peak cope here, but I, I think we can do it. I think we can do it if we talk to the snowman's head first and then come back up to the body and then it'll it'll happen. It'll work. Bonk. All right, talking to the head, talking to the head. He might actually have the dialogue about headhunters. I'm not sure. Speak to me. Talk about out of body experiences. Oh no, he's looking for like have you ran into any headhunters lately? Like haha, you know anybody you know anybody who needs a body, you know. That's a funny gag, I still think. Regardless. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, we dodge him. 
And then I'll come down here in service of an easy way back up here. And then, and then, and then, and then, we go and talk to the body. Need a good head on my shoulders. You know of anybody in need of a good body, I'll follow you if you do. Ah, I can get out of in front of him this time. Yeah. Now I just have to like not screw this up. Let me stand behind Mr. Snowman here. Yep, okay. I just had to talk to the head first. That was the issue. Perfect. You wanna talk? You wanna hang out? You wanna speak? <laughs> what you see versus what she sees. Alright, let's go. No more blowjob jokes during the Mario game. No more. How inappropriate, how ghoulish. He's kind of a little guy, too. I mean, he's sort of a big guy, but, you know. There we go. I like doing that little trick. It, it, it never saves me time. It's a speedrunning trick. It never saves me time, because I have to do it, like, two or three times to, like, get it. But, like, it's still fun. We're now entering the stage of the game where it won't, like, tell us we have new things to do every couple of, uh, every couple of missions. Speaking of every couple of missions, this is the last mission of this set, which is dope. And it is Wall Kicks Will Work, which has its own designated little area. Come on, Mario, dig yourself out. Yahoo. Oof. All right, dig yourself out again. Come on. We have to come down here first, and then oop, we have to head right over this way because we need to unlock that cannon there. So first order is to come up here. And then we have to talk to the guy, except that platform is darn near impossible to stand on. It's so small. I don't know why they made it so small. Like, even like a couple inches either side larger and you would have been good to go. Let's see if I can do the trick. Nah. Primarily because that's not the spot you do the trick at. He's gonna hit me for free. For free! Nah, he didn't get to hit me. Good. I live. I like the glitch in this game. They fixed it, apparently, in the re-release, the, like, Japanese re-release, and in, like, All-Stars. But, uh... I, I like being able to, like, quickly ground pound to, like, cancel out any fall damage. Alright, let me talk to you, pal. Let me, let me talk to you. Open the cannon. Weep, 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 weep. I like their little dialogue, too. Okay. Okay, now the platform should be coming back down. And we're gonna have to very quickly and very eloquently... That wasn't very eloquent of me, but it worked. Okay, so now we gotta get in the cannon. And fire ourselves at that tree over there. And hope we don't land too far down. Yep. Okay, we got one more shot at this. We got one more shot at this and then we game over. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to make it count for something. Let's take a slightly different route to previous. I might be able to I might be able to land that platform from the bridge, but then how will I get down, huh? Think ahead. Okay. Whee! 
Look at the trees that are wobbling when I move toward them. They're just like billboarding all over the place. Oh, the cannon stays open though. That's nice. That's real nice. I don't have to do that twice. Um, so we needed to aim a touch higher than I did the first time. And tree saved me. <laughs> Thank you. Again, trees in this game and their placements are fantastic. Oh, there's a spin drift. And boing. And now we get away. Round to here. To a very obvious seam in the level there, but whatever. Oh, dang it. Sometimes if you approach from a weird angle or are trying to wall kick on a weirdly angled wall like that, you will bonk. And it, it really does not take much to bonk. So you need to do that, and then for this one you need to you go in with a whop. Bam. Not quite, not quite. Ah, I've been bonked. Good joke, good jab. See, look at that seam in the level. You can see straight through it on the right there. Dang it. Okay, well, I guess we'll get another opportunity to look at it. Wah. Okay, so I think I actually need to triple jump here? Yippee! Alright, well, let's be very careful on the ice as to not get ourselves hurt. No fancy tricks. No running. Okay, we made it. We made it. We got the star. Star collected. Alright. So that is a second full stage completion. So I think with that, I'm gonna take a quick BRB and I will leave you guys with the Mario. Uh, I'm gonna run an ad if you don't wanna see the ad, yada yada, you know exactly what to do. Hit that subscribe button and I will see you in a minute or two. Go get a drink, go have a snack, go do whatever you like, and I'll see you in a moment. All right, I'm back. Twig lore, buy a Honda. <laughs> you should buy a Honda, Twig. Mario's having a nap about it. Mario's napping up. Just an eepy guy. He may eep. 
No longer. Away we go. So that's, uh, that's Cool Cool Mountain. We did Bob and Battlefield, Cool Cool Mountain. And now we'll move on to Womp's Fortress. Oh, we have a little opportunity here, actually. To complete... To actually fully complete... Oh. To actually fully complete, uh... Bob on Battlefield by first coming through here. And, uh... This mission is kind of bullshit, because the wing cap is so hard for me to control. Like, I have so much trouble with it every time. I think I'm too low now. I think I'm too low to go up and get those first reds again. I should technically be flying in a circle for these, but you don't necessarily have to to hit them. I'll give it a couple attempts, because it doesn't cost life. It doesn't cost a life or anything to attempt. Oh, well. We'll talk though, Hondas of the car to get if you want to get one that'll last. Good to hear. Use your sister's own car. Nothing about cars, the same. I'm with you, Twig. I, I I know nothing. Prepare to hear this theme a couple times. Cause I don't think I've spoilers. I don't think I've ever completed this mission. I just have never bothered. Okay. Well, we've missed the first ones. Well, maybe we can get the rest of them with practice. No. Continue to practice. No. Not happening. It's not happening. We'll go ahead and hit the button, and then we'll come back and attempt again, because I'm pretty sure it'll let us still attempt it afterward. Ba 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 ba. We just can't get the height to get back on there again. Let's try one last time. One more. Uno mas. This time we don't have the text box in the way to, like, halt our momentum immediately. So I just have to... Too sharp, too sharp, too sharp! Alright, well... <laughs> that was kind of botched. Maybe we'll give it another shot at some point. But, for now, let's run back and finish, for real, Bob on Battlefield. And then we'll be able to move on to Womp's Fortress. I'll feel much more comfortable moving on. Mario wings to the sky. So let's get in here. You'll notice that the wing cap boxes in this stage are now accessible. Ah, well, you can't see it from here because it's not drawing it. There it is. Barely see it for just a second. Come on, let me in. Thank you. I'm gonna see if I can do the clip this time instead. Because clipping, uh, clipping this is very easy to do because you just boop at just the right point on the island. And instead of bonking, it just yoinks you through the island. Like it has a little bit of, I think, accidental tolerance for this sort of thing. So if I just, I think it's at the corner actually. If I aim for the corner a little higher. Nope, we'll overshoot. Okay, well, we tried. We did, in fact, attempt. An attempt was made. Let's, uh, let's get the star. Because this star is probably, like, I wouldn't give up so easy, but this star is probably already going to give me enough trouble. So it's like, you know, not super worthwhile to spend all the time in the world trying to hit a funny clip. Let's see. If I undershoot. I almost had it too. Ah, oh, I thought I was in line with it. I thought I was in line with it. No. Ah, oh, come on. Let me back in the sky. Why not? Am I stupid? Why can't I triple jump? I'm definitely triple jumping. Oh, there we go. I mean, at this point, it doesn't matter. There's no way I can get the height to get back up there anyway. So we're gonna have to... 
back up. This wind cap should be like moments from running out. Okay, we should be above the island. Good, good. Yes. Bum 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 bum. Okay. These coins are very reachable from here. So that's an easy heal. Righto! Up into the air again we go. We got that coin over there to hit. Regular coins don't render at this distance, but... Special coins, like that one in the middle there, will render at any distance. They don't disappear. Back to the island, back to the island. And we shall try again. Okay, well this wing cap is gonna run out in a moment. So we don't wanna... Oh, I gotta cross the stage. Jeez, okay. There's a very cute, uh, as, as merch for this game, uh, Mario wing cap plush that I've always wanted. He's just such a little guy in that. This is so hard to control. But he's in, like, this, like, arms out pose, too, and everything. Oh, god, half my health. Oh, no. I did make it just in time, though. Don't worry, I'll pick up more coins in the sky. I hope. Coping, coping. Seething. Praying. I know you can get some of them by almost lining up perfectly with that top coin there. Okay, we've got four of the five. I don't know where the fifth one is. So I need to like orient myself in a way where I can I can spot it. Particularly orienting myself on the island sounds like a grand idea if I would have landed that. Okay, let's get in the get in the get in the thing. Get in the thing. And then we'll we'll shoot off. What happens? Oh, I almost hit the clip. Ah, oh, it's gonna kill me. No, not quite. All right. How did I? How did I? How? How did I? How did I? Let's heal up just a little. I want to be at least back in the yellow before we attempt that again. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna run out, it's gonna run out, that's fine. We can go and get another one in a minute. But no, wing caps make cannon shots much less finicky, because you get, like, control midair. And so you're able to course correct if you need. Oh, right there ought to do it. Yep. It would also help, it, it would also be more helpful if I weren't uh, an absolute crack shot at this particular cannon shot, usually when I'm not trying to do funny sillies. Oh, I almost had it. I grazed it. I grazed it, it just didn't count. Dive bomb. All right, well back in, back in the, back in the thing, back in the thing. My voice is starting to go a little bit lately and I don't, I don't know what that's about. Slightly concerning, but not super concerning. Yeah, there's the fifth one. Okay. And now we just dive bomb the star. Whee! Not quite, but that'll count. Still got the star, still completed the stage. That leaves us with 16 stars, should be. 14. Oh no, there's seven stars per stage, not. Eight. Uh, so now, yeah, 14 is correct. 14 is correct. We'll have over 20 by the time we complete the next stage up on our list. I want to complete this entire ground floor. I don't know if I'll actually stick to that, mind you, but I'm going to do my best to now that we're in Womb's Fortress. Probably, uh, excusing, excusing Bob on Battlefield, this is like the, the level of this game. 
And of course it starts with level seams absolutely everywhere. Now there is a very obvious star that I would usually go for first. However, again, we're kind of going in star order here. I'll allow it. Okay. You can do that, by the way. I wasn't just jumping off for fun. I will not give up. I will not give up that easy. Okay, now I'm forced to give up. Uh, but I think that's our first game over. Game over. Yeah. But hey, two whole stages without a single game over is something, at least. Uh, now we're back in the castle grounds. So let's get back inside. Yahoo, indeed. And then we'll go right back to Womp's Fortress. But no, yeah, we're going in star order. Just because it's going to be easier to do that. Uh, for the sake of, like, keeping track of level completion, it'll be, it'll be easier to go star by star. And, and just completing what we can where we can, you know. Chip off Womp, Womp's block. So, Big, B uh, this is another one that's similar to Big Bob bomb on the Summit, where we need to go and vanquish an enemy on the top of the level. Oh, well. But we need to go and fight an enemy. You'd be shocked, for those uninitiated, how much of this game is simply just climb the level. You know? End of statement. Climb the level, fight a boss. Sometimes just climb the level is all it is. Take it nice and slow here. Oh, darn. And if my timing wasn't off, I would have had it, too. If it weren't for you meddling kids. Alright. But no, yeah, there are so many elements of this game that involve just, like, platform up an object, and then be on top of the object, and then fight, or just open a box. Whatever, really, to get a star. I like those falling platforms. Those falling platforms are very neat. Another original piece for this game, I think. Actually, I think Piranha Plant Lullaby was used in Yoshi's Island as well. Dang it, man! Come on! How am I this bad? It has been a hot minute since I played this game, alright? I do want to admit, it, it has been years. Genuinely, when I played it on stream was the last time I've played this game, I think. Um, and so it's been, it's, like, when I played the PC port, rather, in mirror mode, that is, is the last time I genuinely, like, touched this game in any serious capacity. Um, and so, like, coming back is just, like, man, why am I, why am I struggling with things that should be easiest in the world? And sometimes I feel that muscle memory come back a little more. And it, it makes sense. Dang it. Come on. Come on. Leave me alone, pal. Yeah, you can't do much about me. There we go. And climb up. And hello, big old concrete slab man. He is a womp. Bam. That's a cool little trick. You're supposed to get behind him. Like this. And then, bam. But if you if you just stand kind of close and then in time with them, you can just clip through them. It's very easy. Anyway, first star of Womp's Fortress complete. Okay. Fifteen stars. Mind you, we only need eight to have been done with this area for the time being. That's all we needed. What was this star again? Oh, top of the fortress. Again, another stage. Like, this is a very forgettable star. Because it's another just, just climb the level, you know? Like, it's another one of those just, like, play the game. And I don't mind, honestly. I really don't mind how many of these are just climb the level. The only time it really gets to me is later in the game with, uh, where, like, you get to stages like Tall Tall Mountain, where the entire point is just climb the level over and over. 
with different objectives at various heights, but the first mission makes you go all the way up the all the way up the thing anyway. So it's not like it matters, you know? Like it's not like you're like slowly inching up the mountain or anything. No, you just you just are up the mountain at a certain point. My cursor's in the way. Jeez. Okay. Let's uh climb our way over here. Okay, and now we wait. And now we wait. And then we come over here. I like the way Mario is animated in this game because like they didn't use skeletal animation at all. Mario is simply in several pieces that all come together to make a Mario. <laughs> And then they just move those pieces around for the animations. They're just like big blobs that intersect each other. Oh, another fun thing. Is it not here? Is it over here? Is this it? Yeah. There's a one up in that little thing. I didn't mean to collect it that fast, but the one up in there was initially a star. Speaking of stars. Uh, and the only appearance of Bullet Bill in the entire game. There he is, and there he goes. Goodbye, Bullet Bill. Um. But no, that was originally a star, but uh, the devs deemed it too difficult. And so they, they, they axed it. That's silly, I love that he's just a bunch of blobs. Yeah, he's just a little blob guy. Like, you can, you can tell in some of his movements that, like, and at some of his, like, joints, that, like, oh, that's just a split. Like, his body is two segments that are just, like, slapped together. I kind of don't mind. I think it's a almost like it. It almost comes off like an aesthetic choice. Here we go. Look at this little peace sign. Ah, soda drinking time. And now back into the stage for shooting to the wild blue. Now this one is a weird, tough one, right? Because what they want you to do. What they want you to do in this one, right, is to come over here. And they want you to use this guy to open the cannon. Right, and then they want you to use his cannon to try, and I do mean try, to shoot over to that star. But what you can easily do instead is to come over here, bam, Bam, and then you're up. Like it's that easy if I can line it up. I, I I'm a little I'm a little rusty. I'm giving it too much angle is the problem, but there we go. And star collected. It's the easiest star in the stage if you do it that way. If you don't, it's probably one of the harder ones. In my opinion at least. Just because of how finicky cannon shots can be. And right back in for red coins of the floating aisle. All right, you know the drill by now with how we do red coins here. We're gonna get all the coinage we can. These piranha plants drop blue coins though. With that and the fact that there are well over a hundred yellow coins in the stage, I'm pretty sure. Um, then we will definitely have enough that we shouldn't have to sweat any of it. Ow. Bonk. If only I could, if only I could long jump. Uh, but no, yeah, there are plenty of coins in this stage. It's genuinely, like, easier than Bob on Battlefield's 100 coin. Like, I was kind of scrounging on that one, because you can simply be left to scrounge in that one. But in this case, it's, it's so easy to just get it right. No! Yeah, this mission's real easy, I wouldn't sweat it. Uh, but no, it's, it's, like, the coin collection aspect is very... Easy, which I'm glad that a stage with a void below it is a stage that's easier to collect 100 coins in. Don't get me wrong, I'm absolutely thrilled about that. Because when things like that happen, it's like I lost 20 coins, but like, you know. It's not gonna take me forever to get them back again. <laughs> that's not where I wanted to pop that, but I'll take it. Grabbed. Haha! -ha. 16 coins. And now we come up. We're gonna go up the long way simply because there's just more coin to be had that way. Whoa, hello, wide one! Okay. 
I just forgot there was a third one of these, and that's what tripped me that time. Well, it's on top of him. Oh no, it's on top of the other one. Gosh, I really am rusty, huh? I'm very rusty at this game. I'd love to get net play working and do Mario Kart nights uh, for all the various Mario Kart titles. Like, get a set of four folk together. Maybe even eight folk together and net play up some Mario Kart in order. You know? Like, I'd love to do one for 64, one for eight deluxe, of course. Uh, Double Dash, Wii, all the games. All the games I want to have a Mario Kart night for. Because I saw... Uh, I saw Lumen do something uh, similar recently, or I guess recently, it's been months now, where they played every Mario Kart 8 track in one stream. I want to do that, but I want to do it for every single game. I want to play every track in every single game. The first one will probably be short, just because I'm pretty sure, or the first few will probably be kind of short, just because I'm pretty sure they don't really have... Mario Kart Night would be super cool. It would be super cool. Uh, but I, I'm pretty sure the first couple games don't have that many, you know? And so I just want to, I want to full complete all the Mario Kart games. That's what I want to do. And I'm pretty sure that the medals still count, uh, on the, on the multiplayer, but they might not on the first couple of games. But I know they do for, like, Wii and beyond. Oh, come on. Come on. Tip over. Bam. Dunzo. And now we come over here. If I can get up here. And we're gonna walk this carefully, because very thin platforms will be the death of you in this game every time. Oh, and they pop out of existence. As that one just did. Ooh, wah. I like that this is red coins of the floating aisle, but like two of eight red coins are on the floating aisle. Um. I don't know where the other two are, or where the other one is, but oh, I think I know. But first order of business. Ow, why didn't that work? I think I just missed him the first time. First order of business, let's get a couple more coins in us, because we need to collect that 100 coin shine, or 100 coin star first, jeez. Can we go play Mario Sunshine now? Can I go play Mario Sunshine so I can be right? <laughs> So I can speak. Uh, there's a coin on top of there, yes? No. Darn, I thought there was. Because I, I'm just so hung up on, on red coin shines and hundred coin shines that, like, I'm so wrong, dude. Ah, I didn't collect these coins down here either. See, that's the thing is, like, you'll, you'll go and you'll do this on this level and realize that you're missing, like, large swaths of coin. Oh, that could have been bad. Um, because where the heck am I going to shoot to? It's not going to kill me instantly, really. Um, alright, so we're going to, bam, oh, no, whoop. bam, and that'll knock us over. 100 coin. And grabbed. 100 coins, yes. And then now that we've got that, we need to come down here and grab us this coin, or this star, rather. And that's a two for one. One hundred and ten coins. High score. Okay, back in, back in. You're not done yet. Fall onto the caged island. Ah, oh, this one's this one's a unique one. What star are we on? Out of out of six. Uh, doesn't say the number. Okay, I think we're on five of six though. So what the game wants us to do? Take this owl. Go up to him. Get under him. Jump up and hold A once we make contact with him. If I'm allowed. There we go. And then it wants us to eyeball landing on the thing. Problem being that the default camera angle does not give us much to work with here. You will not know when you're directly over it. It's just not that simple. 
Also, this guy falls fast. So if you don't, like, line up with it immediately, you're pretty much screwed. And it's, that, like, that, like, takes kind of the platform challenging aspects away from it. Land up here, though. Uh, for what I would call the proper way to do it. Or not the proper way to do it. The, the improper way to do it. Which involves hitting one of these. And hitting it just right in such a way that you get up to the cage. But we're going to try our, our owl friend a couple times. Because this way genuinely is like... It, they're almost equal in difficulty. And... Ah, oh, he bumped me a little to the side. Like, in my opinion, doing owlless and doing it with the owl is, uh, are, are, like, equally challenging prospects. So come on back down, Mr. Owl. Tell me how many licks to the center of a Tootsie Roll pop or whatever so we can, we can get moving. There you are. Yahoo. Oh, whoa. Baited me there for a second. How rude. Okay. Into the cage. Perfect shot. 20 stars. Perfect. Perfect. Save and continue. And into the painting we go. For Blast Away the Wall, the final star of the bunch for this level. Now, the thing about this one is there is, like, a really difficult, technically time-saving speedrun trick you could do where you have to learn a very precise set of inputs, but I was never too good at that. So we're gonna... in here. And then... We're gonna do it the intended way by getting into the cannon. Blasting away that wall, as the title of the star would imply. And then... Most people would assume, right, that you would get back in the cannon and fire yourself out of it a second time? No, not necessarily. Because what what I do, personally, is I... Because that, that, that leads to more dying in the void of the level. And that's, uh, that's not really what I intend to do today, as often as I can avoid it. Uh, I'd much rather, like, would come up to the top of the wall and grab it. But no, the speedrun trick involves doing a bunch of weird inputs to clip the wall because technically that star is always in the wall. It is always accessible. You may always get to it. Like, it's not ever, like, blocked from your, your access if you can get into the wall. And so... Yeah. Now we're going into Jolly Roger Bay. The next of this set of, uh this set of stages, and it's a water level, my least favorite. But all the all the stars here are fairly easy. Plunder the sunken ship. This one is actually kind of difficult. This one's got some music in it, though. That's something I never noticed before. As a, as a wee lad, the music in this level changes, whether you're underwater or out of the water. So I come up out of the water, maybe it doesn't want to surface too. No, it keeps it when I surface. But if I go on to land at any point... I like this music. This is another winner. Uh, but if I if I come up out of the water... And I, I get fully out of the water... If I may... The like, the, like, synth in the back goes away and it's just the main instruments. But as soon as I'm back in the water, back it comes. The best part of the song. Okay, let's let's go and get this eel out of our way, which I was never really certain on how to do as a as a kid. Pretty sure you just kind of get in his way here, entice Unagi out. He's peeking. If I may, if I may. Okay, you're not coming. That's fine. Good thing, though. Underwater, 
we are allowed to grab some sick coinage. And then that will count as breath. Which I theorize is, uh... Okay, let me just ram into him and see if that gets him out. No? How do I tempt you out of there? Ouch, we're dead. That's fun. It is fun, yeah. Uh, but... The thing about the eel is that I, I forget. I genuinely, I forget how I'm supposed to get him out of there. Um, but no, yeah, the music thing is very fun. I love it when music has little changes based on the environment around you. Oh, have you played Banjo-Kazooie? That is another game that I absolutely love and definitely want to stream at some point. Um, that I don't know quite as well. Like I'm not, I'm not as intimate with that, intimately familiar with that game as I am with this game. Um, however, that is a game that loves its music changes. Like it does stuff like that constantly. Ouch. Okay, I'm dead. I'm dead for sure. Let's see if I can get some of these coins in time. Nope. Dang it. I just, I don't remember how to, how to get Unagi to behave and get out of there. Let me, let me give it a quick Google. Yeah, all the guides online are saying exactly what I have. I haven't played it, but it'd be cool to check out if I ever got the chance. Yeah, no, it's it's a good game. I highly recommend if you're if you're interested in that sort of a thing. Because, uh, like, that game is, like, the game that does that sort of thing. Okay, all the guides I found, all the, all the Googling I did, the two whole seconds of Googling that I did just then, uh, brought me things that I already knew. <laughs> It brought me that I need to use my use Mario's body to lure it out, and that has some implications that I'm not gonna acknowledge further. But no, yeah, I think I I do think the the underwater uh, Jolly Roger Bay theme changes are very nice. Okay, come on. I can't believe it does like half my health, dude. Come on. Give me the rest of the coins. Give me the rest of the coins. And let me heal up the rest of the way at the surface. Oh? Why oh? What's oh about? Why are you Owen? All right, let's get up to surface. Do a little healing, do a little healing, do a little healing. And then we're gonna come back down and we're gonna lure the eel out. Using Mario as what well, he's gone. The eel has left the building. All right, make my job a little easier then, why don't you? Okay, uh, so I have to remember the order of these treasure chests. I'm pretty sure it's, my gut is telling me it's not that top one first, but it might be this one. No, no, come on, come on, come on. Steal thyself, steal thyself. Uh, how about this one? Nope. I'm gonna drown, dude. I'm gonna drown under here. Come on. These have air bubbles in them. Uh, I think there's water at the top. Or, yeah, there's an opening at the top. I can just simply come up and fray air. Okay. Come on. Come on, I'm navigating Mario to the best of my ability right now. Get to that air pocket. There we go. Oh, the implications. Oh, right, the horrors. All right, so we gotta kind of climb up those like barnacle platforms there in a moment. So now, if I remember correctly, it's you first. Alright, I don't remember correctly. The gloves are off. Um, how about this one? No? It's none of these three first. Okay, maybe it is the one up top first. Maybe my gut was right. I need to get up. Go, 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 go! I can't keep doing this. I can't keep cutting it so close. Turn Mario around, and let's get a shmove on down here. Because I'm very curious. I'm very curious to, uh... To... 
this. Yeah, it is this one first. I'm not crazy. I know he swapped those numbers. <laughs> no. Uh, but then it's this one? Yes! Memory serves. Memory serves. And then it's that one. Yes, yes, yes. And then it's that last one. Okay, alright. Alright, turn it. Turn it. Darn it. <laughs> okay, so now we, we turn around. We turn this little man around and we whoop, whoop, bubbles okay and now the ship will empty as it rises from the water Let's see how high up on the on the ship we can get before the game decides to lower the water past oh well so much for making any upward progress on the ship we're right down at the bottom but when we're out of the water, it brings in that... I like that there's different versions of the music. It's It sucks that like the rest of the stages neglect to really experiment with that further. Because I think it's a real cool effect. There's a reason that this is the best song in the game. And it, it deserves that title too, believe me. Okay, so we're gonna whoop. Be careful. And then up. Okay. Okay, I got impatient. I got impatient. That's on me. Greed. Greed. The game is making me pay very dearly for my greed. Dude, I hate climbing these platforms. I genuinely, I do. But I will do it. If I get to listen to this baller music all the way. Okay, screw the little platform. I'm not landing on that little platform. It just is not happening. Like, I don't think they ever intend you to use all of the platforms at your disposal here. I don't think I've ever had this much trouble with this mission, though. Again, goes to show just how rusty I've gotten. Oh, come on. Come on. Okay. Oh, come on. Alright, alright, alright. No. Okay, well. If there's one level to get stuck on, it's this one. Yeah. Best music. Okay, come on. And we're gonna be hearing quite a bit of it, too, I assume. Up we go. Up we go. Okay. All right. It's fine. Okay. We're almost at the top now. Now I just gotta make it up here. Open the box and star collected. Almost sad the music has to go for a moment. Here we go. Here we go. High score, let's go. All right, so only a high score because we've never done that stage thus far, but I'll take it. Can the eel come out to play? Let's find out. There's another lure the eel out mission, and as you'll notice, the ship is now out of the water. How nice. These clams are are cruel temptresses. I will not fall for it. They've already gotten me and I didn't even mean to fall in. Okay, so next we need to lure the eel out again, but this time from over here. And then the eel will have a little star on his on his tail that we can take from him. Thank you, eel. Let me do a little chasing now. Oh, you didn't come all the way out. Come on. Yes, go. Go. Oh, no, 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 no. Go, 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 go. 
Yes, go, 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 go. No, 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 no. God, horrific drowning noise. Horrific drowning noises. Mamma mia. Mamma mia. All right. Let's get back in for one more. I think we got one more attempt of this, and then we're we're good, and then we've got it. Well, not if I can't even long jump properly. That might make this prove a little more difficult. This is a stage I very seldomly complete. Like, all eight missions, or all seven missions, including the, the 100 coin for... Simply because, like, I don't know, I don't like it all that much. I like the music, I just don't like the actual, like, underwater controlling that well. I do not dig it very much. Alright, come out, eel. Come out. Time to come out. And it's time for me to go uppies. Okay. Boink. And now we can go back down and chase that wild little eel around. over here by the time we get to him. Yep. Now we just gotta take take the ah take the star. Come on. I'm so close. I'm so close, but I can't control the camera. Underwater, so I'm a little I'm a little stuck here. Oh well we'll have to lure him out again. And then hope that we have enough time to get to him, because we had enough time to get to him one whole time that time on that attempt, but it's much easier to lure him out this way, though. Like, you can see him. You can see some of his length. Yes, come on. Did I leave your, like, sphere the first time? My bad. Come on, give it. Give it. Drop it. <laughs> Drop it. Whoa, the frame rate. Oh my god. Looks like I'm playing on real hardware for a second there. Except I am, Twitch. Don't, uh... Definitely legitimate copy of the video game. Okay. Come on. Oh, I, I, I was touching it. I touched it. Oh, that time I touched it. Alright. Now my options are as follows. I can run and grab it and hope I get there in time. That's what I did. Wicked. Wicked. I'm glad that worked out. Whew. Okay. Can the eel come out to play? Completed. Next mission. Treasure of the Ocean Cave. That's an easy enough one. That's another one of these, like, click on the chests or open the chests in order missions. Which is fairly easy to do. Trial and error wise. And now the eel is just out forever. He, he's just out. He's hanging out. He's living his best life. Swimming around. No longer curled up in any weird areas. You ever see a real eel? They're very weird. They're very odd creatures. I don't, like, hate them. I don't have a hard opinion on them. It's not, I don't mean that in, like, a negative way. I'm just saying they're, they're, they're weirdos. Oh, that's not what I wanted. So, if I remember correctly, this one is... Nope. Top. Then left. Then right. Then front. He's just having a good time. He's just hanging around. Bam. Another star collected. Alright, save and continue. Next star, next star. Red coins on the ship afloat. All right, so now we need to get all the red coins, which means this is a hundred coin mission as well. This is the time where we should be getting our hundred coin on, which won't be that difficult to do. 
I hope, considering this is a water stage. So there are coins all around, case in point. Perfect. Alright. We're gonna collect as many coins as we can along the way here. Well, we're gonna hope we can stay on the platform. This is probably our first priority. But... We're also gonna wanna try to collect coins. Don't know why I'm doing the reds on the ship first. I guess it's so that I can get that out of the way and then do all the water ones on their own. Ah, darn it. We were gonna have to go around again anyway. Because the time would have run out by the time we got down there. But hey, 15 coins so far, and we've barely done anything. I don't think we have a single red yet. Nope. Not quite. So that's a pretty good start to our 100 coin haul. Save us a lot of time there. And now we get on the ship with the with the death cube. Oh yeah, matey, leave the leave the leave the death crate out. Does that line up? It doesn't line up with the coin, no. So I can just kinda hang out near the coin. Okay. Whoa. Dang it. Okay. Yeah, there we go. That's number two. And number three. Again, this is another one where it's like red coins on the ship afloat. Three red coins out of eight. Still a minority. Okay. All right, into the water we go. But first, we're gonna wanna explore the shallow bits. Where are the shallow bits? They are over this way. This way, this way. Okay. Still 25 coins, halfway to halfway to a full set of coins already. I haven't even done much. Yeah, that'll kill me like instantly if I let it try. So let me get up to the surface. And we're just gonna pray that it's open. It wasn't. Okay. It'll open up for me though. That's four. I think in the DS version they made some of these have fake red coins in them, which I thought was funny. That one's got a one-up in it, but uh, oh, it's got a shell in it. This uh, this game has special underwater shell physics, where if you're holding onto the shell, it'll make it uh, a little easier to control underwater. It'll make your 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 glide around a little smoother. Okay, let's let's come up top. And back down. <laughs> I was just double checking to ensure that I wasn't forgetting anything. And now we go into the deep. With almost half the coins we need, nearly. Okay, open up, open up. Give it, give it, give it! A sixth coin acquired, and I didn't die getting it, so... Yay me, I suppose. Alright, it's one... Or 44, I was looking at my star count, not my coin count. That's funny. This is the first stage, though, to have an associated secret castle star with it. Which I think is pretty peachy. Pun intended. There might be some red coins in here that I missed. Oh no, but there's a blue coin switch. Ah. And that'll help tremendously with the amount of uh, 
the amount of coinage we're looking at. Gathered. Because now we're all the way at 80. We barely had to do anything. Ah, well, I didn't, I didn't even take account of that one. Ah, here we go. Here's a nice circle of coins. Nice little coin ring hanging out on the ground. Keep my eyes peeled. Keep my eyes peeled. Oh, right. There's a metal cap box in this stage. I didn't even think about that. Because I don't ever have the metal cap box when I'm in here. So I don't think I've ever had Metal Mario in here at all. How many coins are we missing? One, two, three, four, five, six. We've got six, so we need two more. So I'm missing two coins somewhere. <laughs> uh, there might be clams that I didn't open. There might be clam shells. Hello, eel. How goeth? I feel weird, because, like, the eel's name is Unagi, but, like, Unagi is just Spanish, or not Spanish. It, Unagi is just, uh, Japanese for eel, I'm pretty sure. Last I checked. It's, it's Spanish for, like, a type of eel. If I remember right. I, I could be totally mistaken on that. But it's just silly to think about. Okay. It's not that one that we forgot. Is it one to use? I'll, ta I'll take the... I guess I won't. Suppose I will not. Ah, there's one. There's one of our red coins. Got well. Okay, so we're gonna wanna. And then. Whoop. Wow! And we can grab onto that like a pole. Seven. Now, I have no clue where 8 is, but I've got a feeling, now that we've done that, that I forgot one on a different pole somewhere. 91 coins, though. We need just a few more. Hmm. Nah, red coins are visible at any distance. So if I forgot one, then I would be able to see it be able to visually see the coin that I forgot. Oh, well, we missed. Not that we really need to be up there again anyway. Uh, let me check the back end of this platform. Maybe there's like a spot of land with a coin on it. Nope. Unagi fish as food. Freshwater eel as food. Oh, okay. So no, it's named after like a dish with 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 eel in it. Okay. Now that makes sense. That that correlates much better for like the Mario naming scheme. Probably shouldn't be hanging out down here with no coins to save me. Save me coins. Coins save me. Unagi is the eel. You just put them in things. Okay, I see. Hmm, okay, back down. I must be forgetting something somewhere. Like, there must be something I'm, I'm missing here. I'm missing a red coin, I know that much. But I'm also short a couple of yellow coins, too, that I need. hear that bomb. If only I could throw him and get coins out of him as well. Ah, there's a coin box up here. That'll help. That's something that I forgot. Any amount of coins is helpful. Three more acquired. I only need six more coins total. And then a red coin should account for two of those, so... Oh, wow, I forgot that land ends immediately there. Okay, let's get back up on the ship. Maybe I did miss something on the ship, and that's my problem. Perfect. Alright. Down it goes. Hmm. 
Mm. And then, bwomp. No, not the death cube, no! Okay. Come on. That'll get me up there, no problem. Pretty sure I just forgot one here. Is all. Like, I was pretty sure there was a third one. Or a fourth one on here that... So that yellow box over there is a star, not a coin. I don't need a coin. I don't need a star. I need coins. Coins to get a specific star. Okay, I'm not missing anything there. That is checked and accounted for. Okay, let's go back in here and look again. Okay, let's come up and check this back corner, this sneaky back corner where the thing was. I like the sand texture too, by the way. I enjoy it very greatly. Doing a full sweep of the place just to check for the possibility of one red coin that I missed. Is one up here somehow? No. Darn. Yahoo. I like this secret little cave area. Alrighty, so let's come over here. And... Maybe the eel spot has something? Nah. Again, these red coin missions are tripping me up these days. I don't know what the deal with that is. Shouldn't be that hard. There's only one clam down the bottom, and I already checked it. Okay, let's, let's just, uh, just kind of go for it, see what happens. Because I think I might have missed one in a clam. I could totally buy that I missed one out of one of these clams. No? At least not out of one of those three. Okay, okay. So why are be me coins then? Yo ho ho. And whatnot. Suppose not down here. So I've been facing, like, the idea of potential burnout as, as like, a fear and a concern. So I've noticed that, like, I think... Right, so I've noticed I'm having less of a good time on stream on average than usual. Not that this one's bad. I'm having a great time on this one, which proves my theory, by the way. Uh, but... I'll get to that. Uh, the thing I wanted to say, though, was that, um... The thing I wanted to say was that I, I, I keep... I thought about it this morning. I was like, man, I'm having, like, a real rough time on stream for the past little while in certain streams. Like, on average, I feel like I'm having a harder time keeping the energy up and a harder time staying positive on stream. You know? And not getting frustrated. Uh, but... Like, I've noticed that it's just, it's not that, it's that I'm playing games that frustrate me, you know? It's not that I'm burning out, because that was my initial concern, was, oh no, what if I'm burning out? What if I just, like, suck and nobody's told me, and then I can't keep up this, like, five-day-a-week schedule? Because it is a lot. I will say, it is, it is a lot of streams, very consistently, and it's a pretty full week. But, like, it's not so full... But it should present an issue like that, at least. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. Yeah, no, we're not missing a coin on this side. But no, yeah, I found out- I'm pretty sure that's all it is. 
is just like it's just an unfounded concern of just like oh no am i am i burning out i don't want to burn out you know i don't want to burn myself out i might need to start taking more precautions to not burn myself out but generally i think i'm doing all right oh is there another hole have i, miss have I been missing a hole no that's the eel hole we have to hear that it's not burnout. Genuinely the worst feeling ever. Yeah, I agree wholeheartedly. Cause I'm like, I, I, I personally, like, I am a guy who thrives on like making things and being productive. And if I can't be productive for very long, it just like, it depresses me. And like, so the burnout, like, it, the burnout halts my momentum. And then when my momentum is halted, I, I have a hard time getting back to doing things when I'm done being burnt out. And, like, even after the burnout is over and I feel like I can finally go back, it's just, like, a, a depressive cycle of just, like, well, I'm, I'm too, I feel, I feel too lethargic and, like, down about myself to get up and actually do any of the content. But on the other hand, you know, like, I only feel down about myself because I'm not making content. And so it's just, like, it's a loop, dude. It's a loop, and it's it's a vicious cycle to get stuck in, and I hate it. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly Google where this final red coin is. I'll leave it on pause so the jams keep going. Um, red coins, Mario sixty four. Jolly Roger Bay. Yes, IGN, save me. I'm a tiger. Yeah, fine. Get some rest, Mario. Get some rest. So there's two here. A third one there. Fourth one up there. Fifth one there. Sixth one in a sixth one in there. Seventh one and eighth one. So I've missed a clam somewhere, is what happened. Okay, I've, I've missed a clam. That is my whole problem, is that I've missed a clam. Whenever I'm burnt out, I end up spending so much more time on my phone, and I hate it. Yeah, dude. I, I can't... Like, I like being... I, I, I've found comfort in it these days, but, like, for a while... My phone became, like, being on my phone and just, like, rotting in bed became, like, a problem for me. Of, of, like, to the point where I didn't want to pick up my phone, really, ever. And this was, last time this happened was, like, years ago at this point. But, like, it's just so hard to, it's so hard to, like, maintain, you know? And now, now my phone, being on my phone at bedtime is, like, that that's prime time when you manage it properly. That's, that's the good stuff. But, like... It just like after a long productive day being able to sit and be on my phone is great but i was like robbing myself of that little bit of like enjoyment of just like oh, I, could, I could i could just browse tiktok for a minute and tiktok is a whole other problem for me i'm just like that shit sucks me in dude oh is that the clam i missed up here i think it might be it is clam well at least i know what i'm doing now because that clam is definitely going to shut on me before i'm able to get to it It's torture just to be in bed rotting with like, yeah, like with no reason. It's like, man, I, I fucking, I would love to be at my desk. I would love to be doing things, but I just, I can't rip myself out of bed, you know, in the, in those times. It's like, it, it's very difficult thing to deal with. Like it absolutely sucks. You're right. It's like the worst feeling in the world. Uh, let's see. Can I get back up here? Oh, come on. We need four more coins. Did I lose four coins somewhere? Where I could have had four coins. Jed redeemed a hydrate during a water level? Alright. Ah, big swig of the water taken. Drink all the water in the level in the level, all of it. I'm pretty sure it's is this fresh water or salt water? If it's salt water, I definitely I wouldn't want to. They do this thing on uh, on boat tours. I, I live in 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 the swamp, and so like I, I've been on. I went on one of these boat tours when I was a wee lad. I haven't been since. But they do this thing on those boat tours where they'll um, do these have coins that I can have. 
perchance? No. Uh, is this Jolly Roger Bay? This is, uh, this is Jolly Roger Bay, you're right, yeah. At w which makes it a bay, which implies it's connected to the ocean, right? Yeah, it's salt water. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. You ever be, you ever been in salt water with your hair? Like, have you ever been, like, dunked in salt water for any reason? That shit, that is awful. Like, the, 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 the like, minerals and shit. It's like, cause, like, chlorine does it too. Like, a chlorine pool will fucking, like, it'll leave your hair, like, gross. I, every time I've ever been in a pool in my adult life, because, like, I, 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 once I graduated high school, I grew my hair out immediately. So I've got, like, long, luscious locks. And so, like, anything in my hair is just, like, ew, gross, you know? I can't, I eat it at all meme, yeah. But, uh, like, I, I, I just, like, I can't stand it. So every time I get into a pool, I get a shower immediately afterward. Like, instantly. Because it leaves this, like, film on you, dude. Or especially, like, on your hair. And it's like, it's, it's gross. I don't want that. You know? But, uh, what was I saying? Oh, right, the swamp. Uh, they do these, like, swamp tours. These, like, boat, boat ride tours that you can go on. Um, where, like, a tour guide will talk to you about, like, the wildlife in the swamp, and they'll talk to you about, uh, they'll talk to you about the wildlife, they'll talk to you about, like, like, what they do, like, to preserve that wildlife, and, and stuff like that, and I think that's, uh, I think that's really neat, the amount of effort that's put in over there, you know, but, like, they do this thing on the tours where they'll, uh, okay, so these don't have coins in them. Good to know. Um, where, like, they'll go like, yeah, no, fun fact about, like, the water in the swamp, it's got bacteria in it. Like, it's got some bacteria in it. Like, it's not, like, purified, but all of it is harmless. Like, you can just drink swamp water, no problem. And it's like, so, like, and then he'll, like, like, on our, our tour guide, at least, uh, and they still do this. Like, it, this is a very common thing, where, like, the tour guide will, like, dip a, like, a, a like a water bottle or like a cup into the water and just like take a huge swig out of it and it's like it doesn't apparently it doesn't even like taste off i don't know i don't go around drinking swamp water so i'm a little loose on all the facts but yeah, yeah i'm sure you get it. oh there's coins over here there's a ring of coins around this thing i haven't even been over here yet that explains where i'm missing coins at there we go I would not trust that. No, it's it's drinkable. It's safe. I mean, in a pinch, I would probably do it. But like, or, or on a dare. Like that. Those are the two times you can get me to do just about anything I don't want to do. Is just by like either daring me to do it or like telling me I won't do it, or like like calling me calling my bluff and telling me I won't do it, or like if I absolutely have to do it anyway in like a survival situation. Sure. Like, short of, like, things like murder, of course. I'm not gonna kill a man because somebody went, do it, you won't, you know? But, uh... Ah, dang it. Okay. But no, yeah, I, uh... I'm, I'm so close to getting this star. I'm, I'm gonna be so happy to have this star. And then we get to go do another very silly level. That'll be a nice, short... Oh, we get to do a couple Castle Secret Stars, actually, before the next, like, proper level. But the next, like, actual level we have up is Big Boo's Haunt, which is another favorite, personally. And it'll make this stage worth it. Okay, survival, I could get, but the... But I'm the complete opposite with theirs. Oh, you gotta commit, Twig. Come on. Like, I, I'm not like a, if your friend jumped off a bridge, would you do it too, type of guy, typically. Right? Like, I'm, I'm not usually one to do something stupid because other people are doing it. Or, like, do anything to get myself hurt, necessarily. But, uh, Blast of the Stone Pillar. I know how to do this one. Um, but... I am a guy who will do something, like, stupid or ridiculous for the sake of doing something stupid or ridiculous. Nothing harmful, nothing that'll hurt me, or, like, I don't like bothering people in public. That's another, like, line that I draw, like, a hard line of, like, don't mess with people in, like, the service industry. Leave them alone. 
The people who work those jobs, probably like 99% of them at least, already hate those jobs. So don't, don't make it worse on them, you know? Don't make it, don't make, don't be the reason the guy at Burger King had a bad day today, you know? But like otherwise, like if it's, if it's solely at my own expense, but not like an injury, I'll do it. Like I'll eat just about anything. I'll drink just about anything once. Like and I, I'm that way about like trying food generally. Of like I'll I'll try anything just about once. You know you get you get one. E everything everything gets one. Uh, like I've I've tried all sorts of different meats, all sorts of different, you know, and I I found stuff that I liked, and the stuff that I didn't like I came out of it with a pretty good story though. So that's something at least. You know, but I completely understand being the other way about it, about just like not wanting to commit to those sorts of like small dares and whatnot. Cause it's like you know, that's that's stupid. Why would you do that? Why why would you, why would you why would you you know? And it's like, well, I, I bet you won't. And it's like, yeah, but why would I? It's a good oh. self-control thing. I just did the exact same shot twice. <laughs> I just goofed that the same way two separate times. Okay, all right. So up we go. Uppies time, uppies time. And then we'll... How about that? That'll probably land it, right? Hey, it landed one of them. Now we just gotta hop from this one to the other one. In fact, we might not have to at all. No, no we don't. We can just jump down here. Ouch. Squashed. Another star down. I'm really having fun with this. I'm really having fun streaming this game, because it's such a good stream game. It's so easy to play and commentate about. Okay, so what's the final star here? I forget. I forgore. Through the jet stream, right. We need to, I think this is one that we're gonna have to come back to when we get the metal cap, actually. Because you're supposed to have the metal cap for it, but if I remember correctly, you can cheese it. Like, you can definitely cheese this stage uh, by going in, and I'm glad that didn't do me damage, by going in and kind of like swimming low and then back up, because it's got this very strong current that pushes you out of the way. But if you can get up close to it, if you can just push a little further. No, I don't think so. I think I was wrong. All right, we'll come, we'll come back to this one. Okay, let's let's get back up. We'll come back to this one once we have the metal cap. Hopefully you remember. Hopefully so. Hopefully so. All right, exit course, and we'll uh, we'll move on. But we still need to come back in here because this is where the secret is. Uh, the secret eight red coin stage is right this way in this cavity in the top of the room here. Oh no, that one's a one-up. Okay, because there are two of these. It's good to have the one-up though, I'm happy for that. This one though will take us into this stage where we collect eight red coins for a castle secret star. Hey Zeta, welcome in. We're doing a little 64 action, we're, we're, we're doing it. We're, we're having a time. All right, so let's get over here. Oh, funny thing about this level though, these like glass panes that change the color of the skybox, no they don't. That's the, that's the actual like, that's not like a colored filter over it. The actual skybox is multicolored like that to give off that effect. Which I find very funny that they did that for one stage instead of just figuring out how to make it work the other way. But no, this this is very easy. This little aquarium level is is a very easy pull because we can just grab a couple of these, and we got one more, and bam, star. This is one of the few times an eight red coin mission will not be accompanied by being able to do a hundred coin mission, which uh, is, you know, whatever, because it's a secret star. 
It's not attached to any given stage. It's not like I'm gonna have to come back for the 100 coins. Glad to see your internet is no longer griefing you. Oh, yeah, no, we're we're well past that. We we got that fixed about six months ago, and I have been... Or not, not even, like eight months ago now. And I've just been flaunting my ability to stream ever since. Just absolutely going for it. That's not where I want to be. I think, though, now that we've completed most of the ground floor, with the exception of... With the exception of Big Boo's Haunt, I think now is the time that we go and do the Castle Secret Slide. While we're doing secret stages, it just feels appropriate. This is another really fun secret stage, the very memorable one. So there are two stars to be had here. Unfortunately, there are not a hundred coins. But there is a star for, whoop, doing this little number. And actually managing to land it. First of all. But it won't cost us any lives to, to go back and try again. But uh, I guess I'll do it the normal way then. I guess I'll do it the normal way. Nah, I can land it this time. Nah, I can land it this time. My faith restored immediately. Yeah, I'm not a coward. I'll do it. I'll do it. I do want to do the whole stage for the longer one. I just want to do this this way, just to prove that I can. Oh, come on, I almost had it. I wasn't expecting him to miss. Yeah, that was a near miss though. That was a near miss the first time. I can manage it, I can manage it. Let's go. Oh, come on, oh, come on, oh, come on. All right. Woo! Down we go. Oh, I overshot. <laughs> Dang it, I can definitely do it. I can definitely do it. It won't take that many attempts, I swear. Okay, uh let's let's go again. Let's go again. So I can definitely I can definitely cut like half the slide for the secret. I know I said I'd take this kind of slow, so I probably should do the first way, uh the original way first and do the whole slide, but... da, ah, I'm not a coward. Yeah. Whoop. Yeah. This way, I might overshoot still. Yep, bonked. Funny thing is, though, with these, like, castle secret areas, your health position stays, so... That's why there are coins available. I always found these castle coins odd. Especially in the DS version, because the DS version has a lot more coins strung about the castle, and it's like, you can get so close to 100 coins, but not quite. Between those four coins and the Boo coins out there, you can get like 40, 50 coins, which isn't horrendously close to 100 coins, I'll grant you that, but okay, I held back because I was like, oh, I'm gonna overshoot again. I didn't overshoot again. Okay, alright, alright, let's do it the normal way, and then I'll come back around to doing it that way, because I might honestly be able to pull it. Because the stars are for completing it, and then completing it in under 20 seconds. But, if you really just, like, haul the whole way there, you can do this in under 20 seconds, no problem. Without having to take a shortcut. So let's go the normal way, and we'll come back around. I'll still do it, I'm not a coward, I'm, I'm still gonna do it. But I'll just have to come back around and do it. Wow, would you look at that. The whole slide. The actual entire slide. See? But, like, if you hold forward, you're just a touch faster. So I think it'll... It'll help out a bit for us to be holding forward. i got a one-up for this. Give me. Give me! Ah, oh, I just barely got it in time. Alright. Let me have at this, uh, have at this star. Perfect. Oh, I wanted to do the, the ground pound thing again. Oh well. An effort was made. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay. One of the castle secret stars. Now let's do another one. Another one. Okay. Now we do it again. And we get it right this time. Okay. 
All right, I need a second to get my bearings here. I just have to get my bearings, but that's all. Bum, 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 ba -da -da -da, and then we'll be good to go on actually getting our 30th star. I know I said this wouldn't take me too many more attempts, but it's looking like it might. Yahoo! Come on, land it! Oh, That was such a near miss! Okay, we can do it again. We can do it again, and we can pull it off this time. We can definitely pull it off this time. Ah, well. Oh, well. Well. There. You don't want to end up on your stomach, though, on these slides. That's the thing. Is like, it's very... It's not very easy in this one, but it's very hard to control Mario from his back. Okay, I was holding back that entire time. Mario just full sent it on his own. Of his own volition, he just decided we were, we were going. We're going. We're sending it. Wow. Yahoo, indeed. But no, I noticed uh, the other day that my shoes were starting to fall apart a bit, my Converse. So I got, I got like slightly wide feet, all right? I don't want to talk about my feet too much on stream. That's the only fact you'll get about them. They're, they're not particularly wide. They just, oh, and I still missed the, I still missed the window there. Can you not exit course on this one? Oh, I was sliding, that's why. Okay, we tried once more. We landed it, but I, I was too slow after I landed it. I'll have to try a little harder next time. But, uh, no, I noticed that uh, because I bought these shoes a couple years ago at this point. All I hear is feet. Hey, that's on you for only, like, tuning back in to hear feet. Uh, but, uh, what you drawing? What you drawing? But no, I was talking about my shoes because uh, I bought these con I bought these uh, these Converse like two years ago, and I wear them genuinely. They're like they're my house shoes. They're my casual wear shoes. I, I I'm I'm kind of a freak, all right, about about wearing shoes. Like I'll put my shoes on when I get out of bed in the morning, and I won't take them off until I'm about to go to bed in, in the evening. Like I, I wear my shoes in the house, which apparently is becoming like a rarer and rarer thing. Like I've noticed like more and more of my friends are. You know, not shoes in the house, people. Um, and that's that's fair enough. That's fair enough. That makes some good points. I just like being able to get up and go. Is all. I don't. I don't like having my feet out in strange places. You know, like I don't like. And, and of course, you're wearing socks, right? But like, either way, I I, I wear these. I digress. I, I wear these shoes. I've worn these shoes almost every day. Cause I don't. I don't buy many pair of shoes, so. I'm not particularly, you know, fashionable with them. I, I like to pick out a pair of shoes that I like, and I'll just wear them until the soles fall off, which is what's happening to me now. Uh, because my my the way these tighten around my feet uh, after so after so long, they just start to like the sole is just starting to peel, and so I need to buy new shoes, and I want to buy more Converse, and they have these nice like leather ones. And I really dig it, honestly. It sounds kind of silly, right? It sounds a little silly to like, oh yeah, they're leather Converse. It's like, why would you wear such, why would you do that? But like the actual look of them is pretty good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Got it. Okay. Uh, but the actual look of them is really neat. And I think they make a nice, cause like I like to wear my Converse even with, even with outfits like that would usually require a dress shoe. Stargate. Uh, but. Like, it usually ends up looking, like, when you wear a shoe like that with, like, a suit or whatever, it's hard to tell just, like, wait a minute, is he wearing those shoes because that's all he owns, or is he wearing them as a, as a fashion statement? Uh, and that can be a, that can be a hard line to draw. I personally, uh, I should be able to access Big Boo's haunt now. Hello, pal. But, um... I personally like the look of Converse with suits. Maybe Doctor Who has, like, eaten my brain in that way, but... Um, editing Willow Twig drawing so it looks like how my Sona normally looks. Oh, 
Go on a ghost hunt. Okay, so this mission is pretty easy. This is just kill all the ghosts. But no, I finally, like, I was like, oh, I'm not gonna buy those yet, but I'll buy them when I get paid on the first of the month. And now it's almost the first of the month. In fact, it will be the first in the month of the month in, like, an hour. Um, and so we need to run around and kill ghosts. All right, merry-go-round time. Why are we wearing Converse with a suit? Uh, not particularly. Not always. I was talking about how I'm getting new shoes. I'm getting the, like, leather Converse. Uh, because I, I got on their website and I got to look in because I need new shoes. And, uh... I'm kind of the same, but I just constantly wear socks. I hate being barefoot. Yeah. Yeah, I like... I, I just... I It's not so much a barefoot thing as much as just, like, I don't like being able... I don't like... I hate, like... Not being able to... I hate not being able to just get up and go whenever I feel like it. And it's like, while I would technically, like, want to wear better clothes if I were going to step out, like, go to town or something, you know? Go out shopping or whatever. But, like... In, in most cases, I just, like, you know, I, I like the I like the feeling of having my shoes on. Meaning I can I can just go whenever I like, you know? I also live in a college dorm, and I do not trust the floors. That is very valid. Let me let this ghosty come over here to me. Come on, boo. Oh, not again. Okay. Oh, get off the side platform. I'm not going over there to the side platform to get you. Why didn't that count? Oh, because he went invisible on me. All right, now we just need to do that like eight more times. Ish. Probably closer to like, probably closer to 10, but not too, too many. Not touching it ever. Oh my gosh, that one snuck up on me. And that's number two. Oh, back to zoning out to code. What you coding? What you working on? What's caught your attention? Whoop. Through the door I go. Always happy to help with productivity by being on in the background. Grab that. That's number three. And numbers four and five will come and get us if we if we wait long enough. There we go. Here they are. Four. And five. It might honestly be beneficial to go ahead and do the hundred coin mission during this, but I'll I'll probably just kill them again when the time comes. Scary piano. We'll interact with him later. We're on a project exploring the idea of an MMO of MMO tanking, but inside a single player experience. Ooh. Interesting, interesting. All right, come back around, come back around. And then one more. Bam. Perfect. And now we just gotta get up to the star. If we hang out right here though, the stairs will come up with us on them. Haha, -ha, save me a little bit of time there. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, ads, gotta love them having them show up when you expect to hear a response. Yeah. That's unforch. But hey, first part of that level done, so let's see if we can't complete this and have all the ground floor stages complete. Because I'll be very happy with myself if I can at the very least do full completions of uh, of all the all the all the uh, ground level stages. I don't plan to 100% the whole game. But just doing that would be enough for me. Whee! Okay. Another original piece of music. Let me get the booze out of here. Now I gotta fight another one. And another one. Oh, I thought it was just three, but I guess it's four. And five. Oh, it might be five. 
Yep, and then I gotta fight Big Boo again. Again, they gotta get mileage out of these bosses. They gotta get mileage out of them. It's harder to fight them on a moving platform, though, to be fair. That time I didn't even get to ground pound them. That time I just dealt with them. Alright. Another star down. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay. Come on. Boodle -boodle -boodle -boodle. Usually stays dead, but eh. Secret of the Haunted Books. This one's very easy. I'll do it the intended way. This one. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I don't wanna get in the habit of doing too many glitches during these and little extra bits. Cause it's not really necessary of me to do that, uh, or necessary for me to do that. So we're gonna wanna come up here to I think this room, maybe the room next to it. No, it's this room. And it's gonna try to attack us with books. So it's uh, middle. Oh no, it's top. No top. Bottom, middle. And that'll open up a secret passage. And then through that secret passage, a star. What you'll notice down there is the piano room, and you can just you can just wall kick up here if you really wanted to. It's not that big of a deal. Alright, in we go. For our fourth star, seek the eight red coins. Now this is a fairly easy one. We're gonna go ahead and step out and knock out all the boing, boing, bam, all the coins that we can acquire outside, because again, we're getting our 100 coin star alongside this other star. I believe there's something up there, right? No, I don't think so, actually. Okay, let me see around here so I can... Give me that. And then break this one. Probably should have just broken both of them in one go. That's not what I wanted. But I shall take it. And then Scuttlebugs! I love Scuttlebugs. Get them all together for one big jamboree. Oh, come on. The camera gets kind of tight in in this like backyard here, so it's kind of hard to really get much of anywhere. That's the rare ten coin box. That one. So let me come back through here, into this back door, backstage area, where I can proceed to kill a couple of these guys, and I might be able to jump through. No? I'm not allowed? I can't do it? Aw, oh, man. Alright, well I guess I'll have to continue getting the outside coins then. Bah! I think that might be all the outside- nope, scuttlebug. Time to die, Scuttlebug. Ouch. Die. I don't think I've ever had to punch one of them before. And now we step inside here. And we lay waste to this, uh, this eyeball guy in here. Who also has a name, need I remind you. I forget what it is. But he has a name. 45. In we go. Steve. That one specifically is Steve, yes. Um, oh right, there's an eight red coin mission we gotta do on top of our hundred coin. Ouch. Save me invincibility frames, save me iframes, please. Oh, if I kill them I get a thing. I get a blue coin. Not that I'm really gonna hurt for blue coins in this stage. There's another one that's fairly easy to just rack up a bunch of coinage in. Don't even gotta go up there. 
Right, oh, next set of doors. Ah, there's a boo down here. Who we can make quick work of. And an eye. Come on. Sir? Ah, he's made aware of me. At the last possible moment. All right, you just lost the game. Unfortunately for you, I was never playing. <laughs> some people are some people are kind of iffy on that about just are you allowed to not play the game? Is that an option? I choose to refuse. But like, I, I used to play the game, but you can only lose the same game so many times before it's just like, why am I bothering? You know, why play? It allows others power over me, and I do not appreciate it. <laughs> okay, maybe I can kill a couple of these guys. We're already at, like, 76 coins. This might be enough to get our 100. Oh, hi. You gonna go away, though? You gonna get out of here? Or at least let me out of here? Yeah, goodbye, pal. Bonk. Refusing is fine. Yeah, definitely. I should hope so. But I've been told before that it's just like, no. No, you can't refuse. What are you doing? Up we go. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Out of the shed and back into the main mansion. Very weird that they did like the booze haunted mansion thing twice, right? So close together because this game came out and then they did, uh, then they did uh, Luigi's Mansion as well, which uh, took on a similar sort of thing. Hey now, that's not nice. 96, 97, 98, and then one more blue coin will get us our 100 coins. And then after we get our hundred coins, we just need to find the final eight reds, and then we'll be good to go. Which I'm pretty sure I know where they are. I can muscle memory this stage. This stage I'm very intimately familiar with. Okay. Yeah, hundred coins, yeah! Yeah, 100 coins, yeah! All right, 100 coins acquired. Very weird camera angle. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Let's save, and then one, two, three, four red coins is what we're at. Okay. Very dangerous maneuvering there. In the mansion games are exploring the idea in a lot more detail. The devs probably saw that they liked this idea and wanted to go further with it. Yeah, that's 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 kind of what I'm like positing. Is just like, is this like, do you think this was sort of a proto Luigi's Mansion of just like, oh, a haunted house, booze, do it. But like haunted houses are like a concept and a trope, so it's very easy for me to also believe that like it's a coincidence. Like, I could totally buy that that's a complete coincidence and that, like, there's no real correlation at all. Like, it's- because it's a pretty popular trope, all considered. All things considered, I should be saying. Number six, and I want this one to- Okay. Oh, double up, huh? Double up. I don't appreciate it. I don't like it. I don't like that you got to double up on me like that, Mr. Coffin. Alright. So we should be able to knock out a last couple of these red coins. Bada -ba -ding. Oh, that was the last one. Nice, nice. I wasn't even keeping track of the count, really. Right, out we go. We collect our eight red star, and then we go back in again for another star. I always like the 8 red and the 100 coin combo, because that means I've knocked out 2 stars and the majority- By the time the red coin star comes along, you're like in the majority of the level completed at that point. 
So it's easy to just knock out that final bit, you know? All right, in we go. Whoop. So Trope, considering how close they were in time frames, I could, buy, I could also buy it being linked as a coincidence. Agreed with the coin star together, yeah. Big Boo's balcony, let's go. No, yeah, I, 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 I don't know, I could go either way on it. It's a very low stakes conspiracy, if you could even call it that, really. I think I need, uh... Oh no, I remember this level being rough. I remember this level being rough, not because the boss is particularly hard, but like getting to the star afterward is just such a dick move. It's so weirdly placed. I could have come up here if I needed the more extra blue coins. Alright, come on. Do it again. I can't believe they, like, the gall to make you fight this boss three times in a row. Like, people give sh give Sunshine shit for, like, the, uh, the goop piranha plants and whatnot. And how often you have to fight those, but... Like, I, I feel like this is more egregious. Alright, star collected. Because that's just, like, a tough area to get to. Like, it's much harder to get on the roof and not fall off and get up to the star than it is to actually unlock the star, you know? Alright, one more to do, one more to do. There we go. Eye to eye in the secret room, which I need the invis cap for. So we are, in fact, going to have to exit course. All right, all right. So that is the entire lower floor complete, just about, with the exception of the Viz cap to complete that final area of Big Boo's haunt and the Bowser, and I think that's it. So I think what I want to do is I want to go fight the Bowser because I need to do that to be able to get the Invis cap to finish this. I want to fight Bowser next, and I want to get his eight red coin star as well. Just so we can fully say that we completed this area. Whoop. There we go. Now it might take me a few attempts to actually unlock the or do the eight red star. Just because of silly stuff like that happening to me. Oh, and silly stuff like that where I'm off angle a little bit. Prepare to have my lives eaten through. Have you seen this, like, price fluctuation thing that Wendy's is doing? I don't appreciate it. If they want to adjust their prices, I'm going to adjust my expectations and, uh... Adjust the course of my life to go and have food elsewhere. Cause screw that, man. That's that's so like that's such like anti-consumer practice. For the sake of just like, oh, we're a little busier. Why don't we why don't we charge a little more for the for the five dollar biggie bag? I was gonna say the four for four, but they like completely took away the four for four. It's gone. It's like it's out. And I'm mad about that too. Cause it's like I, I wasn't a particular big Wendy's guy, so I don't have a four for four very often. But like, the point still stands. It's like it's a bad move. It was a good deal, and and now it's gone, for like almost no reason, other than to save the corporation a couple extra bucks. Mino like corporations. Another red coin, and we're gonna go and get another one. The 4 for 4 being gone is actually criminal. That is actually terrible behavior, yeah. Which, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm even more mad about it because of the because of the boycotts and whatnot. Of just like, I'm not allowed, I'm not mad about the boycotts. I do want to say I'm not mad about the boycotts. I'm perfectly willing to participate in the boycotts. Again, if all I can do 
if all I have to do to be helping is not eat McDonald's hamburger, then, like, I, I won't. Like, I will swear off Quarter Pounders for life if it means no genocide. But, like, the important... The problem is, like, it, it, the boycotts already limit, like, places I'm able to go out and eat lately. And so now I'm further limited by, like, you're doing a bad business practice. I don't want to support you. You know? And such a problem... Oh. Oh, I missed. Okay. Uh, I never had it. I just like the name. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a big Wendy's guy generally, just because it's like it's it's more expensive on the whole as far as fast food goes. Uh, but like, which coin is that? Seven. I hope it's seven. Yeah. Okay. So we got to get that eighth red at the top, and then we're good to go. Let's not look too closely at those texture seams. Um, oh, right. I know what I gotta do. Gotta do that little number. And a thread coin. Ouch. Okay. Now I just have to take on the very hard task of not dying long enough to collect the star. Star collected. Here we go. Would you like to save? You bet. That's another rare instance where it doesn't boot you for this. All right, first Bowser fight, ladies and gentlemen. First Bowser fight. Look at him. He looks so goofy. All right, so the objective of these. I think there's a bomb behind me. There is, is to take Bowser by his tail. Swing him very hard in a direction. And miss. No, and, and hit him against one of these bombs. For the first two. Wendy's burgers are better than others, but the price is just too much versus the pri uh, versus others. Find a proper burger place and get much better burger for the same price. Yeah, no, the thing about the thing about fast food is just that it's it's with with like rising prices and whatnot, it's almost cheaper just to like, why am I eating a greasy fast food burger? A because I like it, but like at what point do we say screw the fast food and go out to a restaurant for the same exact price? You know, like again, it's getting real expensive. Taco Bell should not be thirty dollars. Taco Bell is one of the cheaper ones, and like thirty dollars worth of food at Taco Bell is pretty good. Uh, if you get the right things, but like a misplaced order can mean like everything, you know, it like I'm spending like 30 bucks at just about every fast food place I go to to feed me and my husband when I could easily go instead to a restaurant and spend 40 to feed the both of us and like have a nice like sit down experience, you know? Yeah, you could spend 15 bucks. You could spend the same price as fast food. That's not even to mention diners. Like, you could go to a diner. You could go to a diner and eat, like, like a king on these fast food prices these days, dude. It's insane. I love diners, by the way. In fact, I think I might go to a diner tomorrow. I think I might go to my particular favorite place tomorrow. Uh, we need to get to the basement. So we've unlocked the basement now, is the thing. Gee, I love diners, literally the best. It's the greatest in-between, between actually going to, like, to a restaurant. And Mips! I have a Mips plush. I have a plush of Mips, and I want to show them off so bad. Uh, I, might, I might show a photo next time we do this do this uh, game on stream. I'll, I'll take a photo of him, and I'll, I'll have it ready on the stream for next time. So I can show you the Mips plush. Because, like, a company made plushes of that little rabbit, and I love him. I love him so much. I don't know if they're still, like, up for sale, because they sell in, like, batches, because it's, like, a small, independent plush company. And hey, now we've drained the moat outside. Congrats on the husband. Last I heard, you guys were just dating. Yeah, no, that was that was another thing. I brought, uh, brought a bunch of friends from, you know, our group of friends, or my group of friends, over to Atlanta, and we had a nice little trip as friends, surrender, or, sur surrounded surrounding my wedding and so like we went and we had a nice little a nice little a nice little wedding and I got to hang out with a bunch of online friends and it was, it was a good time. I want the red coins. I want the red coins. 
Let me have the red coins, please. Okay, one red coin. This slope is not that hard to get around. With some speed kicks. Next up, next up, next up. Down here. I could have taken that one up with me. That would have been great to have. I had no idea you were married. Congrats, thank you. I've been married for like six months. It's It's been a good marriage so far. Um, we're looking forward to the divorce next year. <laughs> no, uh, but no, genuinely, like I, I'm happy to be married. I'm a married man and I enjoy it very much. And onto the platform! Again, another instance where there are red coins, but there's not the opportunity to get a hundred coin star with them. It's not like a real proper stage. Okay, there we go. Red coins collected! Whoa, okay. <laughs> Lamau. Lamau indeed. What a weird place to pop out of for that stage, by the way. Back in we go! For another attempt. Okay. And then down here. And down here. God, that runs out so fast compared to what I remember. So I'm so used to like running through this stage, you know? What does that leave us with? Four of the eight reds? Okay. And a couple one-ups, too. This place is a great place to just farm one-ups, because you do not take a death here. Like, you don't, you don't like, lose a life for, uh, for dying here, and so it's not a huge issue at all. Pretty sure the eighth one is way over there. Ah, oh, darn it! Just missed. You don't want let you don't want this slope to go too far, because the second you let it go too far, okay, that was almost it. Uh, the second you let it go too far, it becomes an issue. Okay, now we gotta line it back up so we can get on the next set of platforms. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, there we go. Seven. And, oh shoot. Oh, thank goodness, okay. We can save this. And vanish cap. Speaking of online friends, I recently got dragged back to VRC to host an event for a server I run and suddenly made a new friend. Not expecting that at all. Oh yeah? Well, I'm glad to hear it. Hey, red coin star. We gotta use the vanish cap to get to it. But red coin red coin star nonetheless. Bum 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 ba dum bum ba ba dum bum 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 ba dum bum ba ba dum bow. Here we go. Here we go indeed. But no yeah, making new friends is always nice. I keep meaning to go back to VR chat. I, I go back to VR chat sparingly to hang out with friends, and I feel bad because there are some people that I left behind in that move, you know, to, like, making content more often, and, like, I I'd like to say that content's the reason why I don't get on VR chat as often, but it's, like, it's one of those momentum things, like I mentioned earlier, where, like, you stop doing it for a while, and then, like, it becomes insanely hard to, like, convince myself that, like, okay, I'll charge my trackers and everything, and I'll get in VR. You know, it's it's just a whole thing, is all. Um, Big Boo's Haunt. Big Boo's Haunt is what we were doing. And then we'll have completed everything except for that one Metal Cap mission. <laughs> the momentum is the hard part for me. Same, same. Completely agree. Bam. And then back in here. Ba 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 ba. Ooh. 
Oof. Okay, so let's get up here and pop right upstairs. Because then we're on a timer, right? Because we got to get over here. And we got to grab the vanish cap out of the box. And then we have to come over here and ooh, not completely flub the wall jump multiple times. It's not a very tight timer, but it's it's a timer. Oh my god, it's a tighter timer than I remember. Jeez, okay. Back we go. Just checked my email and I have a 9.30 class is canceled tomorrow and I'm so happy, oh my god. Okay, that's all. I'm going back to my homework now. All right, Twig. I'm glad. I'm glad that. Uh, I'm glad the class was canceled. I'm glad you're having a having a chill morning tomorrow. You really don't need to side flip into that. I just do that for fun, for funsies, you know. And there's a big eye guy in here. Ow! He shot me. I can't believe it. There we go. Got the ghost. Now that that boo is dead, I should be able to knock this guy out pretty quick. Hey, and would you look at that. In the last week, I've added 70 hours to my VR chat time. Thanks to having a good reason to play. Well, that's solid. That's fantastic to hear. Here we go! Alrighty. So, I'm having a thought about going and getting the metal cap real quick and doing that last level, just so we can truly say that we completed the bottom floor. And I think 40 stars is a good, re or the, the, not the bottom floor, the ground floor. And I think that the, I don't think I have to really do much to unlock the, the metal cap. I just kind of have to go and do a thing. There's an eight red coin mission associated, but that's easy to do. Mips, hello buddy. Gotta love Mips. So if we come over here to Hazy Maze Cave. Yeah. Ba 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 ba. Swoon Beast in the Cavern. But we are actually going to avoid doing that star altogether. And instead, make a beeline for Metal Cap area. Actually, I think we do have to go over there for Metal Cap area. I might be misremembering though. No, no, you don't have to go over there for metal cap. You have to go over here for metal cap. And then you have to plummet. And find your way around this, like, poison-filled maze. To, I think, over this way is where I want to be. Yeah. Because then you're going to want to do a little whoop, pow. And now we're up here. And from here, we go down this, like, bat-filled corridor with these weird bat enemies that we see almost nowhere else in the game. And we wait it out. And then we come up here. This isn't the area I wanted at all. Okay, yes, we do have to go to the cavern then. We do have to go to the cavern. All right. Get on that swimming beastie in the cavern. Which is... Oh, well, that was the bottom of it, huh? Oh, no, I'm stupid, I'm stupid. We do have to go this way. We gotta get back in that room. It's the other way. It's off in the other direction. So let's uh, pop around here. And watch for rolling rocks. Take care, take care. As to not get squashed like that. There we go. And we'll come through here. And down here. And skip the elevator. And we'll see... Uh, we'll see... Nessie. Where is she? 
Where is she? And we need to get up there into those double doors. Where the heck is she? She must be around the other side then. There she is. What a silly big lady. All right. Whoa, didn't mean to swim under like that. <laughs> Got lost. A little lost, just a little bit. Let's turn him around, or turn her around. I don't want to misgender the dinosaur. Come on. Oh, come on, turn around. And face front. Yes, yes, just like that, just like that. Here, if I... I don't want to be mean. But you kind of have to be on her head. Which sucks. Whoop. To actually be able to steer her and get on the platform. Gotta love the collision issues. Yeah. It's a fun little part of the game. Oh, I'm glad I landed that. Almost didn't. Okay, so through the doors. Over to here. Got myself all turned around. And then into here. And now we're in the metal cab zone. Okay, so there's no clank when I walk like Metal Mario. Okay, so first thing we're gonna wanna do, right, upon winding up in here is go and hit the switch. As easy as it would be... As easy as it would be... Ooh, a couple of red coins. To want to rush in while we have the metal cap before the switch is hit. That's only gonna lead to death. That will only lead to certain death. Yes, I want to save my metal cap progress. Please. Number three. And number four. And now where is the metal cap box? It's right there. And now we got a couple more coins to get in the water, and we'll be all set. Funny to think about how he's just a capsule. Yeah. Amazing the trickery that, like, animation can do. Very easy red coin star to get once you have the metal cap. And bam! And another Castle Secret star complete. We'll actually finish with closer to 42, maybe? Because I wanted to finish with 40, but I want to go and finish the ground floor. But nobody said anything about getting a couple additionals to make it an even number. Because this is one of the few toads in the game that managed to snag a power star to give to us. That we can just have. We can just have it. It's ours. Ah, big sips, big sips. All right, so next up. But no, I genuinely, like, people have their gripes with this game and its control scheme. I don't, personally. Stingy toads. Hey, they give it away for free. It's fine. They were just holding on to them for us. That's all. They are just making sure they didn't get into the wrong hands or anything. So let's go up here. And around into here. Now that we've got the metal cap, this should be a breeze. Ba 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 ba. Alright. Whoa! Okay. We need to find a cap box. I believe it is on one of these buttons. Ah, metal cap box right there, I see it. There weren't many places it could be, granted. Whee! I'm gonna waste a lot of the time that I have in this, uh, this mode of just falling down to the area. God, the leaps! No, I'm gonna miss it! No, I missed it! I have my gripes, but I can acknowledge how advanced it was for the time. 
This is before anything we consider standard control schemes nowadays were popularized. Yeah, no, but I still think he control- I think Mario himself, camera aside, is, like, almost without flaw. Like, I think he is just about perfect. Control scheme-wise. Because, like, they really don't change much about how he controls over the years. So clearly, at least somebody at Nintendo agrees with me. Why are we going up? Oh, we're not. Okay, good. Okay, that might lose me enough time that I'm definitely not making- You can't be expected. You can't be expected to fall all that way just right, right? Most of my gripes are camera controls. Yeah. Like, that I'll sympathize with. That I can definitely sympathize with. But gripes about how Mario controls, I just- I just can't see it. I just don't get it, you know? Whoop. Bam. Pow. And... Down we go. I don't know why he just decides he wants to plummet suddenly. Good old plumber plummet. No, that's just not possible. There has to be another metal cap somewhere, right? There's gotta be one, like, in here. Maybe. This might be just as long of a shot. As trying to go the other way. I know there's a vanish cap box in here. Oh, I think that was a metal cap box, actually. It was indeed. Alright, metal cap me up. Hopefully, with the addition of this metal cap, which is far closer to the objective, height-wise, I should be able, no problem, to just, yep, grab. Okie dokie! Save and continue. In fact, I think that'll do it for now, folks. I think that will seal, me, seal my fate for the evening. Don't go anywhere just yet. We got a raid out going. We got a raid out going. But for now, there's some issues with the consistencies in wall jumps, but that's mostly just something they fixed in later games. That's mostly about how Mario detects collision, or how collision is handled and not, or like how it's like collision detection works and not, you know, an issue directly with the controls. But like, I agree. Yeah, there are some wall issues. Um. I'm going to send you guys over to... Mario's going to sleep. If anybody has any suggestions, I'd love to hear them. But, uh... We're going to... Uh, I'm, I'm gonna see if anybody on Willow SMP is live. Because if there is somebody in that server who is currently live, I would very much appreciate it. Okay, uh, let's see. Live, 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 anybody live, anybody, live, anybody, 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 nope, nobody but me. Alright, well. But no, yeah, they do, they do mostly fix that in the later games. Uh, I guess I could send you guys to Cadence. I guess. I guess so. Yeah, I, I never get the chance to send you guys to Cadence, so I guess I'll do that. So, go join Cadence, they're doing some VR chat. They're having a good time. I'm sure they're probably doing some RP stuff or something. But you'll enjoy it a lot if you give it a chance. Uh, so I'm going to start the raid. And I'll use this time to inform you that exclamation point socials will get you a link to my card. Where you can vi you visit all my social media. And do things like watch my latest YouTube video that came out like an hour ago. It's not my proudest work, but eh, it's fine. Um, which I know is not a great sell. Or you can watch videos from my VODs channel, which have every stream I've ever done, including the last time I played this game a couple of years ago. So if you want to see how that stacks up to this stream, go right ahead. Go find out. Uh, and with that, I think I'll see you all tomorrow. Probably either for some better beta or for some uh, more Willow SMP. One of the two. Anyway, that's me. See you in March. See you next month. 
technically. 